Welcome! Hey guys, are you ready for everybody's favorite Ace Attorney case? Gosh, I'm so excited we get to finish it. <laughs> Honestly, like I was just talking about this. I feel like I've already been trying to like kind of wipe it from my memory. I'm like, what happened last? What happened last? <laughs> what, what happened last stream? Like I've already been trying to erase it from my memory, trying to forget what, what happened. Oh yeah, at least we're past. Yeah, at least we're past the creepy part. That's good. I didn't mind the other parts of it. I put Mo in the thumbnail too, and I'm like, Mo, please, please don't forsake me. Because when I was trying to make the thumbnail, I was like, who can I add in? Like everybody's a creep this chapter besides like Mo and Regina. So I was like, I guess I'd just do one of them. <laughs> like hope for the best. So don't let me down, Mo. Don't let me down. Honestly, I feel like Mo probably did slay um, the the dad, like Regina's dad, and for that, I definitely do stand. <laughs> so don't let me down, Mo. Tell me that you slayed that horrible, horrible man. Oh yeah, let me. Um, I think that was maybe. Oh god, I forgot that sometimes it's like. I'm like scrolling through the chat and like scrolls through Ace Attorney. Thank you, Nocturne. Missed the last few AA streams. Good to be back. Welcome back. Sorry, it's this case. <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll have fun. We'll have fun regardless. It is the end of this case, and apparently the next one is like really, really good. So uh, we will, uh, we shall see. Oh, and thank you guys for the, uh, the happy birthday wishes. <laughs> it's always my birthday. How old am I now? Thousand? 2,000? 3,000? Something like that. Okay, I feel like I, I saved like 12 times. Part 2 to trial? Am I on that? Looks like it. Okay. We'll just load it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing more of your painful reactions. <laughs> yep, that's basically, <laughs> basically what this uh, Let's Play is for this case. Hey, sweet. At least I get to do the Mikado voice. I hate that, uh, it's pretty bad when, like, I'm missing, God, like, literally, yeah, this chapter has made me miss, like, Mikado. It's made me miss Mitch. <laughs> Kanane, of all people. I'm like, man, I kind of miss them. <laughs> they weren't that bad. <laughs> hey, sweeties. What in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Oh, yeah, that was what we were on before. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. Um, but it looks so effortless for you on stage. I guess we gotta, we gotta destroy the magic of Max's performance. Oh no. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I do want to see the anime rendition of this, because I feel like... I feel like it has a lot of the the makings of like a good case, but like just a lot of the problematic shit <laughs> takes takes away from it. And thank you, uh, Breathe the Cookie Monster. I'm heading to a festival soon. Oh, have fun! But I hope you have fun finishing this cursed case, Weeby. Have fun, guys. Thank you so much, Bree. Appreciate you. And yeah, hopefully we will. I think we're I think we're past the most painful part at least. I use invisible wires and help them hoist me through the air. And <laughs> what? You're not actually flying? Wow, you just told me the secret to your magic. No, I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule, the only rule. I guess you gotta quit forever. I'm sorry, Max. We made you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. I guess you gotta retire and go away <laughs> forever. Nick, what do we do? All we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best and catch this sucker. Okay, do we have to do more investigation now that I think about it? Or was it just like a timeout? Like I said, I've been like, already. <laughs> so once we finish this case, I think I'm just going to completely uh, erase it from my memory. <laughs> Whatever you guys ask about, I'm going to be like, what? The, the big what? The, the big what? I don't remember that. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on. But turn it out, Big Top. That doesn't that doesn't sound familiar. Are you talking about digital circus? That circus? I don't recall a circus in Ace Attorney ever. Um, Nick. What is it? I have got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks. Yeah, magic tricks, by their very definition, are by their very definition tricks, right? 
but I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearls did a magic trick? Uh, what kind of trick was it? I mean, uh, you know, that all the magical stuff they do with like the spirits is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool, I guess. Oh yeah, thank you, uh, Pixel of Flow, the culprit. You may have found me, but you'll never catch me, fleas from the courtroom. We be running after them, please wait. You haven't signed my shirt yet. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Literally. Like, thank you so much for killing him. God bless you. You've done the world a service, and I appreciate you. Pearls and a magic trick. What kind of trick was it? Um, let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb. Oh, my God. Is it like one of those ones where it's like... Whoa! Whoa! How'd she do that? That's crazy! <laughs> I think you might just be stupid, Maya. First, she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. Whoa! She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really, was it kind of like this? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm totally screwing it up. <laughs> what? How'd you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. No wonder you like uh, Maximilian so much. Especially our tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're so goofy, Maya. I love you. What to do? I don't see any way out. <laughs> Weeby, how'd you do that? <laughs> That's crazy. It was like a, it was like an episode of SpongeBob that was so funny. Where like a thing SpongeBob did like this, he was like. <laughs> How do you disconnect them? This is crazy. I want to turn the fan on too in my room. I feel like the lights always make it really hot in here. Always need to grab that. I always forget. <laughs> I can't remember yet. Yeah. I think it was an episode where like SpongeBob was just like a ghost or something. I can't remember. I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Um, there's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. <laughs> Rock in a hard place. We have to convict the person that actually killed this douche, which sucks. <laughs> and then we have to save Max, which also sucks. Oh my god, I agree, Phoenix. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal fl flew through the air? The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says that he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. <laughs> you guys in chat are killing me. Weeby, what? How'd you do that? God, I missed my calling as a magician. As a wizard. You're a wizard, Weeby. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? Thank God. God, I love this guy. If that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. I mean, Mo did say that. <laughs> so, kind of, kind of does seem like it might be him. There's no reason why anybody would believe he flew. Teach me your ways, Weeby. I'm sorry, guys. It takes talent, okay? You're just, you're born with it or you're not born with it. I'm so sorry, but I can't, I can't teach it. <laughs> but what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that, Max. You're really not helping my confidence here, Maya. Okay, any ideas? Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trillo, Mo, Weeby, they all have nothing nice to say. That magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like, customers only go to the circus to see him. He even hit Ben over the head with a bottle. Okay, that was kind of slay. <laughs> I hate Ben too. But, but what? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. Uh, and it was proven that neither Ben nor Mo lied on the stand. Maya, maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume. Okay. But Mo clearly said that he saw Max himself. I know, right? I was kind of thinking it seemed like it might be Mo who did this. We'll see, though. We'll see. Oh, dude. Probably make my little box smaller, huh? There we go. That's bothering me. <laughs> Too much space up there. Okay, let's roam around aimlessly. Do, do, do. It'd be kind of interesting if um, Regina did it, though, too. I guess we can just talk to Max and get it over with. <laughs> I feel like she probably didn't, but, you know. That would be an interesting twist. I feel like so far, it seems like it's Mo, doesn't it? it I feel like it kind of seems mostly like it's him. There we go. Oh, my sweeties! 
You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? No, we're, I'm good. <laughs> We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special from prison. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, the great prison escape. It would be aired live. <laughs> would really be bad for you, wouldn't it, buddy? Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. You know, just get convicted of another felony. No big deal. But if I do this special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show! So I already agreed to it! If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison. You can't do shit by yourself, dude. You need your little strings and fake, uh, whatchamacallit, fake magic stuff. I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business. Uh, okay. <laughs> night of the murder. On um, the night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not that. It's not just something I can do at will. I don't really care what the stoogy clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Okay, you attach yourself to a string and the string lifts you up. <laughs> then somebody else does all the work for you. You'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much, it's much harder than you think. Okay, today's trial. Um, I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask of you. Anything for you, sweetie. Don't call her sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the s Stop being a douche! Fabulous! A great joke! Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... Oh! I've won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. Oh yeah, we saw that trophy, I think, somewhere. I wouldn't it be great if Max actually was guilty? Oh, that'd be wonderful. That would be a twist. I'm waiting- I'm waiting for that twist! International Grand Prix. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage! Yeah, you literally spilled the beans three minutes ago. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, didn't you already tell us? You just forgot about that? Head empty, I guess. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at the circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Grand Prix, is this gonna be important somehow? <laughs> Somebody have like beef with him? And that's why they wanted to frame him? Hmm. I guess we'll see. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told the story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring for me. Oh God, it's just so hard being so famous and successful. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I'm really, I'm so sick of telling. Don't you dare ask me to tell you this story again. Come on, stop. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. I'm sure he loves telling it. Voila! Here, take a look at this! Grand Prix. It's like, isn't Grand Prix... Isn't like Mario Kart? I'm trying to think of where else I've heard about it. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to think about where else I've heard about it before. Oh, thank you, Depressed Kenjo. Your streams have helped me through hard times. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate ya. Don't be depressed, Kenjo. You're a king. <laughs> but also, a uh, person donating. I hope you feel better, and I'm glad that my uh, stream's been able to help you. Voila, here, take a look at this. Oh, I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Oh, okay. Uh, what does this do? <laughs> okay, I was kind of expecting to see like Mo in the background or something. And just look at that fabulous stage. I don't recognize these bunny girls. Girls. Um, there's like a little trophy there. Yep. The trophy did it. Just look at that fabulous stage. That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself, I could die right then, and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night, the emotions, the acclaim. Wow. 
I feel like a Mitch voice would have fit Max really well. Wait, what? <laughs> talking about Mitch in the chat for a second I was like yeah that does kind of fit that I see that cursed ass donation why why do you have to curse this case even more Mitch Amelian a fucking dead it is I Mitch Amelian Galactica oh god thank you for the donation oh man I'll go towards my therapy <laughs> you've caused uh -huh, by the way I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. It's not. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. You can hold on to my attorney bag, though, for a little bit. That'll make you feel better about yourself, right? My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. <laughs> make sure to brag on my behalf. Oh, look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Okay, I guess maybe whoever seems the most bitter when we show them the picture might be the person who did it. Thank you, Shadow Arm Midnight. Even normal criminals don't take so well to harming, grooming minors. So Max is definitely not surviving prison life and getting beaten up. So I see no, I see no loss either. That's what I'm saying, dude. I think like... No matter what happens, I'm gonna headcanon that he just stays in prison. He gets his ass beat every day. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, though. Appreciate ya. Learn how to get thrown in jail. Photo of Max's award ceremony. Okay, thank god. I think we can leave him. Okay. There might be more, I guess, we could talk to him about. We'll try that later. We'll try that later. Somebody gonna do a Mitch and Milliana fan service. <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye on the subreddit. I need to start shouting out the subreddit again. I haven't been doing it as much just because I was playing Raincode for a while. And it's like, I don't know why, but I feel like the capture card that I use for my Switch is very buggy. Like, it's, I don't know, there was like times where I've tried to show like the subreddit or different memes and then it'll glitch out once I switch over to the switch or I'll have issues with it. So I just start trying to do that again because I had fun showing the fan art. That was a good time. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Um, oh yeah, wait, Trillo, was he the, he was the puppet, right? <laughs> I told you guys I've been trying to wipe my memory of this. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes, uh, oh, oh, wait. Quit your wine and let's give this a shot already! All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Just it's killing my voice. Um, what are you doing? Jiggling down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, Trillo, but this isn't gonna work. Do you even, do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, then what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? And thank you, uh, Speedy123. I would be loved all your streams ever since I got into Danganronpa, thanks to you. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm happy I was able to get you into uh, Dang It Grandpa. And I'm happy you've been able to enjoy the streams as well. I'm sorry. Secret crash training, whoa. Yes, Trillo won't give up until I suddenly try out his idea for the routine. So, we we were trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible! See, see, even they're surprised by the idea I told you. They're not the only one. Do you even surprise me with your idea? You're so weird. <laughs> You're so weird, bitch. <laughs> Once we get- wait, wait. Profile picture? Are you guys talking about Mitch and Millian still? <laughs> I love you, Drago Nugget. Oh god, the profile picture is so funny. Once we get a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. You you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Don't give it back. Ah, oh, there it is! Now that I got this ring back, it's time to take one more sh <laughs> Okay, let's present this stupid picture to you and see how you freak out. Would you mind taking a look at this? 
Um, um, I, I, no, no, I'm that, um, 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 I, so um, um, you're not gonna reply? I guess we don't need you to look at it after all. Come on, you got your stupid puppet. You don't got any excuse now to be ignoring me. Uh, maybe I gotta talk to him first. Okay, oh god, we have to talk about the marriage. Today's trial. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You wanna talk about what we saw, right? Um, yeah. Let's get Maya away from this guy. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Finn? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that, that's right. But then we said hello and he didn't get, and didn't get, even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in all those gaudy symbols. Um, what do you, what would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Huh, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, I would have thought it was the, the ringmaster. Okay, so the ringmaster was, like, dressing up as, um, what's his face? Max? That's kind of what it seemed like. I don't really know, I guess, how they would have sw switched clothes. Because, yeah, we did see Max's costume, right, when the ringmaster was leaving and stuff, too. And thank you, Shadow Our Midnight. Look, it's Benji Bish and his side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get him! Get his ass! <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, god! I would have thought it was a ringmaster. <laughs> something just... Oh, something has just just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. Okay. Just gonna try to avoid it for as long as I can. So, how is this new routine working out? Will you two just take a chill pill already? Our routine's a secret! We're going to take on the ventriloquism world by storm! <laughs> All the other five ventriloquists out there! Oh, we're gonna wreck them! It'll be a revolution! That sounds incredible! But let me make one thing clear! We're not gonna take on the world just because that jerk said we should! That jerk? Max Galactica! Former should aim for the world! Who does he think he is? Trillo, you seem really, you seem to be really fired up about all, about all of this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're right. I'm starting to wonder, like, <laughs> so freaking stupid. But what if they just arrested the puppet? <laughs> it's like it was just the puppet who did the murder, <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it. They somehow let Ben free. That was worst ending. Mug my words, I Trillo Quist will win the Grand Prix! Okay, now they're talking about it. You're the man now, doll. Row, 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 you got my beautiful singing voice. Gently down will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, you were gonna break everybody's eardrums <laughs> with that song. Not to rain in your parade, but wouldn't, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up! You gotta be a part of this, too! Okay. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her! That's why I'm waiting for even now! Really? That's... Mm. But if you really wanted to see her, why shouldn't you check her out on the tent or whatever? Hi, oh, you haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Wait like this is part of being in love! How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. Can you wait forever across the world? <laughs> In a different country? On the opposite side of the world? When your body aches for your part. Ugh. That's one of the best parts. Um, yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine-ripe tomato. This is so... Ugh. I know Maya would have issues with this. She's being controlled by the game. Can you, uh... Really? You're not gonna say anything even now? Really? You were just talking about the Grand Prix! He was like, literally, wait forever. <laughs> Can you please wait forever and ever? You don't have any of these things, do you? Nah. Okay. I guess I'll, uh, go see Regina then. One of the few, uh, tolerable... <laughs> tolerable characters in this, uh, game. Actually, let me, uh, present you this. I may hate you. Oh, really? You're not- you're not gonna say anything? God dang it. My body aches for Trilla to be burnt. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh, God. If there was ever a trial I wanted, like, a Monokuma-style execution, it would be this one. But it would be for all the other characters, not the one who actually did it. <laughs> be for Trillo and Ben and Max. 
Huh? Where's Regina? Probably hiding, dude. Have you seen all the creeps around her? I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm just, uh, allergic to wild tigers. Okay. Nobody here? Um, I guess I could reinvestigate, but let me try the ringmaster's room first. I know I miss Mo too. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Mo will show up. It's like Mo and Regina, my two two people holding down the fort in this case. Max and the ringmaster. Oh, Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why did he do that, anyways? Was it really that cold or something? Okay. Are we gonna examine anything? Okay, I guess we can just re-examine stuff? I can't move, can I? Nar. Thank you, Drago Nugget. Guys, <laughs> dude, if you have a ukulele, <laughs> I need to clear my name of this false allegation. You've been admitting to this shit, Mitch Amelian. <laughs> On stream, we have proof. <laughs> the ukulele will not save you now. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. I think Slappy and Trilo will be the best. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh God, they just all need to burn, don't they? <laughs> Thank you for the donation, appreciate ya. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we can click on this, maybe? You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hum, what? A scrap of white paper sticking out the coat. Oh yeah, I think we already did this, right? Huh? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ah, uh, you always make me feel like I, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong when I steal shit. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a klepto, okay? This is strange. Everything looks nice, but this desk is old and cheap. I think I kind of remember this too. He left her, didn't he? Hmm. Is there anything else here I can click on? I guess there was like these Grand Prix trophies. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed. Just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all country quiz champions, ringmasters association, mini golf master, beer belly balloon bounce, pet grooming Grand Prix. Wow, the ringmaster was multi-talented in many ways. Okay, okay, I guess there's nothing here. Really? Kind of seems like it. All the stars in this poster must have been the poster. La, 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 la. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? Should make poster for my law form. Okay, no. It doesn't really seem like there's anything. I kind of hate how it does that sometimes, where it's like it re highlights the stuff. So I'm like, is there something important now? I guess not. Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool. It seems like there's so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office. We did this before. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> there's some donations. Let me uh, do that. Thank you, Krogomancer. So, you want this case in Danganronpa with Regina as the black end and winning? I can get- Yes! Now that's what I'm talking <laughs> Even Phoenix, the judge, they've all proved themselves unworthy. Let's just wipe out the- I like Phoenix normally. Just- Why did they give him some weird lines too? It's like, why do they have to- Why do they have to affect like the characters? Like him and the judge. Like the, you know, the actual characters. Ugh. Thank you, Shadow Arm Midnight for the donation. Appreciate ya. And thank you, EDMG7, fanfic idea. Blue fairy turns Trillo into a real boy. And it turns out he's a gentleman who's disgusted by Ben. I don't know, dude. I think he's gonna be a little weirdo, too. <laughs> I think he's gonna be a little weirdo, too. Thank you, Crocomancer. Also context. Pre-max equals pricks. I guess I'm just saying it's not pricks. It's like pre. Context. Pre-max equals... Wait, what? <laughs> uh... Is it pronounced like pre? I think I saw somebody else saying that. I might have, uh, I might have miss, uh, I might be misunderstanding. Contest equals, or contest, that's what, so pre means contest, and max equals pri pricks. So like a, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna stop analyzing it. Thank you, Bless Bane. I think the circus workers misunderstood the group. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing when I saw that. I was like, uh, were they judging? Was it really dog grooming that they were talking about? <laughs> Table use visitors come to see him. Oh, you know, there's mud caked on the table. Terrible manners. Nick, don't ever think about. I wasn't. How uncaught do you think I am, anyways? Okay, screw this. We're leaving. I'm going to keep moving until I reach a standstill, I guess. 
And thank you, Block. I appreciate uh, the donation. Thanks. They still haven't cleaned this place up yet. If Pearly got one look at the state of this place, she'd slap whoever is in charge in the face. Remind me to never invite her into my office. Oh man, really? Nobody's here? Oh my god. Why is nobody anywhere? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to the other area and see. No. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Let's go to the lodging area. Maybe we can find Mo. Oh, it's you two. Oh, Gumshoe. He never gives us any information ever. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? Ha. Huh. I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Oh, no! Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listen to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing- Like you should be laughing or something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laugh that much? Francisca really set you up with- Set you up bad this time, didn't she? Francisca's so- She's such a little cheater, dude. I can't- <laughs> I guess it's just kind of how it is, like, in this game, you know? It's like, there's no laws against, you know, like- I guess like lying to your client or like telling your client to lie on the stand, but didn't she do that to Mo? She was just like, just say you saw this, okay? Francesca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal, not my queen. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No, you know how many times I've been hit? Um, why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma has always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. Don't show up, 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 don't show up. Looks like she's wound, wound him up pretty tight. I hope she does show up. We haven't seen her outside of the trials yet. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Okay. Oh, I see some Moe's window, I think. Who lives in that room beyond the window up there? The acrobat's got his room on the second floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma is gonna start her investigation up there. Oh, acrobat. Is that a new person? Is that a new person? So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? Okay. Francisca Varn Karma! Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Okay. Oh, can we actually see her? Uh, that'd be kind of nice. Are there any mods in the chat? Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh god, please, mannequin. <laughs> uh, I don't know, let's, let's maybe not do those kinds of jokes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, is there, any, is there any mods in chat? I can't, I can't really tell. I might be busy today. Let's go to Moe's room. Moe's not here. If he was here, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped into this room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. Ah! 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 What do you think he's laughing about when he's all by himself? I thought he was just thinking up new jokes. He was thinking about how he killed that evil old man. He was just laughing to himself about it. Slay. And I say slay, Mo. Oh, he must really love his work. God dang, where is everybody? Is there, um... Can we not go back to the monkey's room? I don't think, um... I don't think we can, right? Huh. What do I do? Do I gotta talk to this guy? I guess I can try to present him stuff, maybe? What else can I present him? Victim was hunched over. It contained pepper. Um... The monkey... I feel like we kind of talked to him about all this stuff already, right? Yeah, nah. I don't think they're gonna really talk to us about anything. Where do I go? I guess there's always this dude. 
Ugh. I guess I can talk to you some more. I don't know if I've really shown him these things. What about this? Fabulous, you'd like me to sign this for you? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is gonna be how it is. What about this? No, I don't want your signature on anything. Um, time of death. Back of the head. I don't know if I see any mods. I guess I could, like, uh, if anybody wants to be, like, maybe modded for a little bit, we could always, uh, try to do that. Just because, yeah, I think they might all be busy or something right now. And God knows, we probably need it for the stream. I don't mean, what do I do? Uh, thanks, Kyuse. I was like, I feel like, you know, if there's people like I recognize, I could uh, maybe mod some people. Maybe, I guess the big top. I guess I could all see try to examine here, too. Uh, I feel like it's just all gonna be the same thing though, right? Wow, those lights are huge! Yeah, I feel like we've already done this. Like hamburgers! <laughs> and not ramen! Disgusting! Real talk, I can help if you need mods for now. It's like, yeah, I feel like Drago and Nocturne, I recognize you guys. So it might be good just to mod y'all. Managing... We chat messages. Do... -do. Okay, we'll just do that for now. Thanks, guys. So, no, Kiyose is kind of busy too, and I don't think he's. Kiyose, have you played this game? <laughs> I was like, I can't remember. I remember you said you played this game, but I don't know if you played this one. Like this uh, chapter specifically. Huh. I guess. <laughs> is there more to talk about with him? Gift ideas for Regina! <laughs> true. Freaking true. Hmm. I don't think there's anything to show him, right? I guess there's always, um... Well, let me try this, I guess. God dang it. I hate you. I hate you so much. Uh-uh. What? Uh, what? Huh? Alright, it's... it's... Hey, I guess we don't need you after all. Okay. Um, hmm. He's not here anymore either, right? I'm just gonna try to examine this. Do I just need to click on everything before, uh, <laughs> before we go to where uh, Von Karma's at? It's condensed over the air conditioner. Hasn't been a while. It's been a while since it was used. How do you figure that out? You're not making things up now, are you? Hold your horses. It was easy to figure out. It was snowing before the murder, right? Well, look at the condenser. The snow is still piled up on top of it. Wow, Nick! I'm impressed! Maybe you should be a PI instead of an attorney. I basically do that already. Okay, I guess we can look at this. Uh, Ringmaster's body was found here. I heard the way he fell over made him look like he was carrying a wooden box. And then we found a wooden box. Who would have thunk? But what in the world really happened here? Oh, this little pole or whatever. I guess that might be... The safety light was on at the time of the murder, wasn't it? What's... That's what they say. There were performers in the lodging house, so it makes sense that it was on. I bet the killer was worried that someone would stop... Spot them during the crime. It's like, could they hook up the string to the light, maybe? Or something? Maybe? Something's covered up by this tarp. An old sign, perhaps. Nick, look out! They've got the killer trapped behind that tarp! <laughs> what? It wasn't funny? You know, it wouldn't have hurt you to look even a little bit surprised. Ooh, she didn't notice I was too scared to talk. <laughs> Aww. You're such a little weenie. Who's a little chicken, Phoenix? Okay, maybe I do just have to click on everything before... Before I, uh, get to the other area. And thank you, mannequin. Apologies, just joined. I didn't know what level of humor y'all thought was acceptable. I cover my discomfort with crappy humor. Yeah, I understand. I figured you were just kidding, but uh, I can tell people in the chat too are also kind of like uncomfortable just because it's kind of like a sensitive topic, you know what I mean? But I appreciate the apology. Thank you. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and examine. Will we find a murder weapon in here? What's up with these weird carrots? Carrots look like they were picked from the crop, don't they? Still don't get why I went with carrots. Um, what do you think about this theory? A long time ago, the circus was down on its luck. 
Mo is so hungry that he had to steal the horse's food to survive. But he got addicted to their orangey goodness. <laughs> I'd laugh, but I think Maya might not be too far from the truth. <laughs> had to survive on carrots. Look at the ceiling. It's like someone punched a hole in it. You're right. I wonder what happened. Um, I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. I, I feel like that's important, too. I want to know as well. Doo -doo. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. It must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. In our office? Um, as soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. Uh, but not yet, sweetie. Oh, no clues here. My bad. I'm trying to click on the shoes. You really gotta give it to Mo. Slipping on a banana peel a hundred times a day? That's incredible. Maybe I should try giving it a shot myself. I guess I'll start out by juggling. Maybe you should start with spirit channeling. You know, the thing you're actually, actually good at. Just a thought, just a thought. Mo has got an excellent pair of pajamas laid on his bed in an excellent manner. They're not actually pajamas, they're actually costumes. Sleeps in costumes too? Uh huh, I guess you could say they're professional sleepwear. Uh, what a little weirdo. <laughs> Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has in here. Clowns for dummies, the joke's on you. Treat your peons right, and the classic, funny jokes are funny. <laughs> it's so true, so true. Wow, Mo is very studious. The joke's on you, huh? He's got a little poster of himself too. Is that the only? <laughs> Do you have to commission this copy, Mo, of yourself on a poster? Did you have to commission that? Because there wasn't one of you on there. Tiki, clown equipment is so funny looking because I assume most of the posters would, posters would just have Max on it. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle. He's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Well, you gotta give them all a shot. Trying is the most important thing. He sure seems to have tried them all, but were any of them useful? So somebody kind of does wonder if he has like anger issues or something, because... I don't know, it all kind of looks like a punch, right? Like somebody punched through the musical instrument, somebody punched through the trampoline. This is where Mo witnessed the crime. Well, this is where Mo witnessed some craziness. I mean, come on, a flying criminal? Jesus. <laughs> if we had a normal judge, he'd never believe something like that. Too bad we got our dumbass. Okay, is this it? Dee -dee, dee -dee, dee -dee, dee -dee. Okay, I already did everything here. I'd have to re-examine the circus entrance too. I feel like, ugh, it's like, do we really have to? Is there really gonna be anything here? Look, look, it's Max! Even when you don't wanna see him, poof, he's right in front of you. <laughs> he's just always there, always looking, always waiting. Stars in his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek? I've got a marker. Uh, it's all right. I wonder, hmm. Code review, yeah, if you guys know where to go, uh, that would be helpful, because I'm not really sure right now. I feel like sometimes she'll give me like a hint, right? What to do? It's like a water place. There's no way we can solve Mystery Klein tomorrow. Air, only thing we know is Max said he saw it. That's true, Mo looks awfully serious when he said that. I think he might be trying to frame Max. I just simply said I saw Max out of it enough. I mean, he kind of already did see that. He flew, but what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that, Max. You're not really helping. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really feel like she was too much of a help, honestly. I wonder if I investigate the other area? Go to the cafeteria? Eh, okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Oh, cool. Somebody here now. <laughs> Ah, oh, yay, it's Mo! Right, welcome to the wonderful, fabulous, the cafeteria! Yikes, he's, oh god, no, he's in a good mood! All right, you know what time it is, riddle time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um, come on, you can answer this, it's easy! Why does everybody cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Because it's got beans on it? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction. Buzz, wrong, try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, I got it. 
Okay, what's your answer? Um, because they are in the cafe cafe eye. Exactly! That is, it's an incredible, incredibly sad place, that cafe. I did it! I feel like he was just I feel like he was just giving you that one. I kinda thought Phoenix was was better, honestly. What's going on? He's being too nice. Okay, let's talk. Today's trial. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was gonna be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. <laughs> Why wasn't anybody laughing at my jokes in court? That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning. I had to smash water. <laughs> I had to beat the shit out of something to <laughs> get my anger out. It just kind of... <laughs> Were you actually smashing watermelons to get your anger out? Or it's probably just a setup for a joke, right? Um... I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. Even used the famed no shoes, no shirt, no sir. That usually kills! Exactly! How can you not laugh at a stunning comedy act like that? You weren't even laughing, Maya. Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw! That creep just flew through the air. It wasn't exactly flying, per se, it was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psyche lock. He must be telling the truth. Okay. I guess I can try to present him some stuff. Somebody gonna finally respond to this picture? Yes! Ugh, I knew! I knew I could count on you, Mo. Uh, not this picture. He showed it to you guys. He shows this to freaking everybody. Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Max. He really gets around. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he didn't just show me the picture. Um, what do you mean? He showed me his bust, too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. Okay, the bust that was in the picture. I didn't think that seemed kind of interesting, but I wasn't totally sure. How it would be, like, relevant, you know what I mean? In this picture, I think, he'd make us- What? <laughs> Bow down to the bust, peasants! Pray to your almighty god, Maximilian! I like how they went ahead and made him a bust. It was like, it was like it was rigged for me to win in the first place. He'd make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust. I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'm only into Edgeworth's. Okay, um, I wonder if I can show him some of this stuff. Will he have anything to say? Sorry, but I don't know anything about that. I see. After all, I'm just a clown. I can see Mo's a clown, but I get the feeling he's not your average clown. Nah. I guess he might have gotten more, uh, dialogue, too. Ah, oh, there we go. Max's bust! <laughs> Max's bust should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Oh, is it normally actually on this thing? Is that where you're made to bow down to his bust? Really? Oh, yeah. Um, when was it? I'd say about five days ago. All of a sudden, the bust disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. I used to be like, I'm looking for my baby, my child! <laughs> Please, somebody find him! Max just had to put the picture up. Um, hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a fuss of me! Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! You know, that was exactly what I was wanting you to do. Max G bust added to the court record. Okay, cool. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Uh, nope, nothing's changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. <laughs> uh, a quiet mo is a good mo in my book. Oh, he's so sad. I guess there really aren't any other things that could have changed, huh? Well, there is one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us, tell us! <laughs> Phoenix a little fruity. A little? <laughs> Just a little? A lot. A lot. Well, on the morning of the crime, over on that bulletin board, 
This piece of paper was posted front and center. Oh, it looks like a ransom note or something. Piece of paper. It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes! Huh. It says, to the murderer. Murderer! Okay! Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. You know, I don't actually think it is Mo anymore. Maybe it was Ben who did this. That might be kind of nice, because he could go to prison. I won't be a fan, though, if Ben did this. Nothing can redeem him. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Okay, before the murder. And it said to murderer. To a murderer. Did Max kill somebody? And they're trying to get revenge on him or something? Before the murder? Yeah, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Okay, post in the cafeteria on the day of the crime, then Torrin states, to the murderer. Nick, I think we better follow up on this important lead. Okay, cool. It does seem like it. Can I examine the board, though? Probably not gonna be anything important. A bulletin board for, um, bulletins. Doesn't look like there's any useful clues posted here. Boring, maybe we should just leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy? Uh, I heard there's two liars <laughs> that, you know, they're like rivals, but they're also like in love with each other. <laughs> you know what, like a fake clue. Uh, maybe something like message from the killer. Oh yeah, I think I do remember this. Oh, Maya, you're so silly. Okay, let's see if we can find, um, let's try to talk to Ben again. Unfortunately. Put up Max's award ceremony. Try this. Really? What is wrong with you? Why don't you ever answer anything? Oh, you piece of... God, I hate this guy. Oh my god, nothing? Nothing? Fine, I'll talk to Max, who I also hate. Okay, whatever, loser. I'm out of here. Okay, you better. You better. Don't don't give me that. Oh, let me sign it. God damn yeah! Why don't you people talk to me? I find this important fucking evidence. Okay, finally. <laughs> so I find this important evidence. And they're all like, I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> Do you know anything about this note? Oh man. The morning of the murder was posted it was posted on the wall of the cafeteria. I do, I do know all about that note when I read it. My heart certainly skipped a beat. Um, your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company. I guess it wasn't really company. It was just the, oh God. It was just the ringmaster and an underage girl. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. I was kind of wondering if somebody died at like a performance or something, you know what I mean? Like, um, caused by, what is it called? Like, um, negligence or something, and that could be why it was left and why they ended up, I guess, if that's the case, it could be somebody whose, like, child died at the circus. But I'm trying to figure out if it's like somebody, you know, we've talked to before. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. It does kind of seem like it could be something more like that. Like, yeah, a death caused by negligence or something. Really? Out of the curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Um, let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my- <laughs> Go and- <laughs> Tell them! <laughs> Tell them, Nagi! It's a very Tagami-coded of you. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my. Uh, you might also want to ask the underage girl that I <laughs> creep upon. Okay, let's leave. I wonder if Regina will actually show up now. Nope. I was like, I feel like she might be here somewhere, right? Somewhere. Hmm. Nah, he's still here. I mean, I guess you showed this to me, but I could try to present it to you. Mm. The morning of the murder. This was posted on the bulletin board. That's around. That's around when Max clonked Ben over the head. Sorry, I hadn't remembered it until now. It was torn down before anyone really paid attention to it. So you don't know what was written on it, do you? Unfortunately, I don't. 
But I bet you they would know. Who are they? Max and Ben. Well, Ben didn't say shit when I showed it to him. They were here before me that morning. Well, maybe now we can uh, try. Oh, the rest of the note is in the ringmaster's room. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. I feel like I already clicked on everything in here. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it's this thing. Hey, do you see that? That makes sense. The white paper that was in there. Ah, the scrap paper shoved in the back of the tailcoat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. Yay. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Okay. We got no information from that besides the fact that the killer's in it. Which you kind of already figured. Tonight at 10 p.m. That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called the ringmaster. Note updated in the court record. Okay. Ringmaster's tailcoat. It's been expertly cleaned and pressed. It's got one perfect crease. The ringmaster must have liked things neat and tidy. This is kind of pointless, isn't it? There's no way this beats Mo's room. Now that's cool! All I can hear in my head right now is uh huh, 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 uh huh. Torma Remaster found his tailcoat pocket. You haven't forgotten what happened six months ago, have you? I have conclusive evidence to what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the lodging plaza. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I guess we can try to move somewhere. Okay, I want to show the full note to Mo and see. Oh, he's gone. What? Well, Mo's gone. There's a message on the bulletin board. I'm hungry, so I'm off to get some hamburgers. Love, Mo. Ah, oh, he's just a little guy. <laughs> um, hamburger. Just thinking about it is making me hungry. Yeah, I don't actually think it's Mo anymore either. Um, since uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's giving us too much uh. Too many clues and stuff. And then, yeah, I feel like Phoenix already implied earlier that couldn't have been Mo. I feel like it's probably Ben. Which, I mean, hey, that's cool with me because he needs to go to prison no matter what. All of a sudden, I need a burger bad. All of a sudden, I need a new partner. Bad. Okay, I wonder if there's really anything else in here to analyze for right now. Let me see if I can talk to Ben again. Okay, here you are. Okay, can I present this to you now? God! <laughs> I hate you with all of my hate. All of it. All of my hate. All of my hate, you piece of trash. <laughs> you piece of trash. What about this? Fabulous! People trying to excuse the age gap? Yeah, please don't. <laughs> please don't. Oh god, I want this trial to be over. <laughs> oh, I want it to be over so bad. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But with Miss Von Karma. Beep, 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 beep. Eh. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound. Um, it's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far. <laughs> I got a tracking device to make sure I can, I can avoid her. Some sort of pager or something. If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick! See ya, pal. Oh my god, do we get to see her, my queen? I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. God, that's crazy that she's so young. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. The wind is by- Oh, God! Yes, she's here, queen! Queen, 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 queen! Oh, my God. 
as biting as the lashes from a whip. Don't hit Maya though. Oh no! <laughs> she literally passed out afterwards. Von, von, von Karma! She really did appear. It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day, the day my dream can finally come true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands, making the national news. <laughs> national news. You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. I don't know if anybody actually cares about this case, girly. Tomorrow's trial. Miss Von Karma, it appears you got your hands on to something big, huh? Ha! I'm amazed you picked up on that too much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. I wonder if it could be the acrobat. I don't think we've even met him yet, right? I think, like, um, I feel like I remember hearing about him at some other point, but I don't think we've met him, met him. It's the final nail in the your coffin, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yeah, 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 I get it already. You wanna beat, beat and destroy me? I can't worry about her. I gotta try and find out some more information myself. Revenge! Oh, dude! I gotta show her my badge! Oh, I can't wait. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. <laughs> Damn, that was kind of harsh. My dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I, I know you miss him. I hate that bitch. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, also we paid his way out. You were rich, you know. Rich people don't go to jail. Now then, did I ever bring up my papa's name in this? Or in the other conversation? Ah, then, then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Phoenix, right? I have to see him again one more time. Edgeworth? Him? I'm sure you know. Oh! Hey, hey, no more competition for Miles Edgeworth. He's mine, okay? He's mine. Oh, wait, actually, no, I think, aren't they technically siblings, another thing about it? Because didn't they get raised by Von Karma together? I guess they're kind of like step siblings, another thing about it. I'm sure you know to whom I referred. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? Mister? Oh my god, please, Edgeworth, I miss you so much! Come back! Miles Edgeworth? Okay. Miles Edgeworth, why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Yeah, I kind of forgot for a second. Ah! Manfred von Karma! Yeah, yeah, so they're like step siblings. Exactly right! It was my papa! Wait, do you want revenge for me? <laughs> you know, embarrassing Edgeworth so much? That means that Edgeworth was the right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Little brother? Isn't he older than you? Huh? Little brother? But Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. I never thought I'd hear that name again, but he's dead to me. Oh, I miss you so much, Edgy. Where are you? The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. And then we made out after every single case. God, good times. We made out in the back of his truck, just like those guys in a raincoat. But, after a, but a little after that case was over, he left me. He dumped me! It's your fault that he is gone. Huh? You broke his heart! It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix? Right? Oh, she's getting revenge because we broke his heart. He broke my heart! Damn it. I, I... Nick, what does she mean? Edgeworth death! Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then with the case after that one... He doesn't... Edgeworth didn't really die, right? <laughs> it's like, I thought he was just being dramatic. He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. 
Okay, just referring to vanishing as his death. So he is just still being dramatic. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. <laughs> Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Oh. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's... He's dead? <laughs> he didn't die. Edgeworth can't die, guys. He's... He, he can't die. I don't believe it. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. He's still alive. He's just being dramatic. <laughs> you know, I've always, he's always had a flair for the dramatic. He's quite, quite the flamboyant fellow. You know him. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in the world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. I'm going to find him. And then I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own do- <laughs> It's gonna get whipped a lot. No wonder he ran away. <laughs> Dude, he totally ran away to like Mexico or something. <laughs> Just to try to avoid getting whipped by her. It was actually your fault, girl, now that I'm thinking about it. Thank you, Shower Midnight. Francisca wants to see if Nick's worthy of Edgy. She has to approve- He has to get the family approval, you know, before- Before they get married. And then I want to teach him his rightful place. Nick! Um, about Mr. Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. She's like, dude, I can't channel him. He's not dead. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? <laughs> um, Nick, are you in love with him? Miss Von Karma. What? I don't know if you're a god's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had about enough of you. <laughs> him too. What? What in the world happened? <laughs> I like my, Maya's commentary. She's like, okay, this is, this is a lot. Humph. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Phoenix, you're so dumb. You can prove with Maya that he's not dead. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. He dumped me, Weeby. It's like he's dead. He might as well be. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Um, Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. Um, I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. I just wanted to, like, you know, snap you out of it or something. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, this dude. Okay. Oh, he's in a wheelchair. Did he get hurt? Oh. Did this guy do it? Huh. Because I could see negligence, like, affecting him. I don't think he would call the ringmaster the murderer if he was just, like, blaming the ringmaster for him, like, breaking his legs or something, though. But it could be, like, if it uh, ended up, like, you know, something went wrong and then he got injured and then somebody else got killed during the performance. And then I could see him calling the ringmaster, like, a murderer. Interesting. Acro is kind of. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to start simping for him yet. We need to. We need to talk to him first. This trial has not been very safe. I like his little birdies though. Those are cute. Yes. Please. Uh, what kind of voice should I give him? I feel like my automatic thought would be like a Kendra voice. I guess I could just give him like a Nike kind of generic. Please to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. Ding Dingling. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Ken Dingling. Oh, like Dingling off of uh, like a bar or something. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> but here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. I think that's okay. Mr. Acro. Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Oh, no! I forgot to show her my badge! Damn it! Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I missed it. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. Okay. Oh, God. This, not the circus music! <laughs> oh, God. Acro, why did you join the circus? <laughs> but is he enough? <laughs> I was thinking that too. When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. Um, the only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very... <laughs> he was. That's why I decided to do something very important. 
Slay! I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. Okay. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. <laughs> I like the little birds, like, nipping at him. <laughs> They're so cute. Sometimes I think that he almost was too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his- he was not. <laughs> he was allowing her to be groomed. Um, I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina's so cute! She's truly a princess! Truly a princess? Are you sure? Oh god, is it gonna be one of those fucking things where he turns her into, like, the villain? I swear to god, dude. I'm so... In this case! Oh god, I could see her being the culprit. I swear to god, though. They can't make me hate Regina. There's nothing they could do to make me hate Regina. Truly a princess. Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Um, do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Okay. Yeah, what happened? I stopped by yesterday and noticed you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Uh, you just now broke your legs or something? Uh, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Uh, rehabilitation, that makes sense too. Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw. What you saw, jeez, that sounded really ominous. <laughs> what you witnessed. Let me ask about the wheelchair first. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged, and you can't walk now. You can't even stand now. Damn, that sucks. And since I lived on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. Oh, Jesus! Why doesn't somebody just give you a first floor room? Come on. <laughs> That's awful! Come on, Mo, step up! The accident happened during the acrobatic session, right? Um... Oh, here we go! Chains! Okay, nice. Psyche locks! It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. Interesting. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? <laughs> God, he was staring into my soul there for a second. Exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. I wonder if he can heal or if it's like a permanent um, damage. It kind of seems like it might be. Thank you, David D. Dear Algebra, stop asking us to find your ex. She's not coming back, and we don't know why either. <laughs> got him. Got him. Thanks for stopping by the stream, David. Appreciate ya. Six months ago. What in the world went on at the circus then? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Are you simping for Acro Weeby? He is a very good looking man. He's apologizing for the ringmaster. A little too much though. So I don't I don't know. I don't know if I can simp for him just yet. We're gonna wait. I'm, I'm scoping everybody out this chapter. I can't trust anyone. What'd you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I'm trying to think. Actually, if it was him who did this, could it have been him and Regina? No, I'm trying to think. I feel like he would have to collaborate with somebody if he did this. <gasps> the monkey! Because, <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, like, the killer did not leave any footprints, right? And he's an acrobat, so he could have tied himself to like a string or something, lifted himself down, killed the ringmaster, then lifted himself back up. That's what Mo saw when he saw somebody like flying away. So I feel like it would be the killer would have had to have been on the third floor, or like a higher floor, you know, to commit this and make it look like they flew away or whatever. So honestly, it does kind of seem like he might be a pretty big uh, suspect for this so far. But yeah, I was like, somebody I feel like would have to be on the other side, like, lifting him. But the mon- he is friends with the monkey! <laughs> so it could have been the monkey! <laughs> but, uh, that's my best guess so far. Because I was thinking Regina, but he doesn't like Regina, so... I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge loud sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He is besties with the monkey, too. He was flying straight up into the air. He? And he kept talking about being fabulous or something. Oh, yeah, that's Max. Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. 
You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. Oh, this guy is so sus. He is so sus! I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Nick. Hmm. Hum. Interesting. Okay, let's present Regina. Why do you hate her? Regina. She's cool, isn't she? And can you believe she's such a cute... Believe such a cute girl's an animal tamer? <laughs> the animals are like, we, we're getting out, we're piecing out of this. It seems animals are not the only thing she... T oh, God. Um, what now? Max, the ringmaster. Trash, you're trash too. Every person in this trial is trash. Max, the ringmaster. God, they're all such victims of a 16-year-old girl. Fuck you, Agro, you suck too. She's got them all under her little thumb. What do you mean by that? Um, maybe I went a bit overboard. It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I'd say it seems that way. That's why she can be so cruel. Did somebody, I think I saw something in the chat say that they thought the birds were the ones pulling the string when he was, you know, Maximilianing out in the, uh, out in the snow. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. That's why she can be so cruel. What? Regina's just like the animals. She claims to tame. She's innocent, thus she can be cruel. Um, I wonder what happened between Acro and Regina. Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't find out anything else? It's probably like her fault that uh, he's in a wheelchair or something, right? Let me present you some other uh, stuff. Okay, bronze statue. Oh wait, actually, let's see if he knows anything about this. Um, what is this? That's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the murder. <laughs> this guy in the cafeteria. Uh, what happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. Oh, damn, I wrote that note. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina, ask her about it. Okay, weirdo. Maximilian Galactica, right? You'll have to forgive me, but I try not to think about him. Acro won't even look at it. Okay, geez. I guess maybe Max is also involved in the uh, thing where he got uh, hurt. And it looks like something is really weighing on him. Okay, let me try this and then I'll be done. Maximilian, right? I can't even look at him, he's too beautiful! Okay, um, actually, I'm kind of curious. I want to show him some profiles. I don't think this is actually going to be relevant, but... What do you think of our girl? Mr. Wright, I just realized who you remind me of. You're just like this- <laughs> Or am I? <laughs> am I really? You're just like- You guys are exactly the same person. What? <laughs> you and the prosecutor have the same glint- You guys are both fucking crazy. You're joking, right? You think I'm like that whip-carrying demon? Whoa, no need to get so hostile about it. You two may view things from very different perspectives for now. But you both see the world through the same color-tinted glasses. What are you, like a, like a fortune teller or something, too? I know, because when I look at the people, their eyes are the only things I can believe in. Um, Nick and Miss Von Karma, huh? <laughs> oh, God, what do you think about Ben, this little weirdo? I was hoping you could shed some light on Ben. Well, he'll always be here. <laughs> he has literally no talent or no <laughs> no possibility of doing anything else with his life. As long as he's here, he can really only continue to be a ventriloquist. Whether that's a good thing for him or not, I'm afraid I can't really say. Okay. You probably won't talk about Max, will you? Oh, okay. You want to know about Max? Well, his colleagues in the circus all seem to hate him, <laughs> me included. What about you? I've got my issues with him as well. But he just also happens to have a diamond shining in his soul. What? A diamond shining in his soul? Yeah, he literally ate a diamond once. Oh god, I thought for a second you were going to say he was a good person. I guess you could say it's his pride as a performer. We didn't have that pride in ourselves before Max arrived. Honestly, I think he brought something wonderful to the circus when he came. Can't you and Max get together then? Can you leave Regina alone? Acro, this guy is really different from the other members of the circus. 
Okay, um, what did- oh yeah, I could present, um, this guy too. How old are you actually? 26? Okay. The Ringmaster. I'll do the badge though after I do the profiles. He was even more than a father to me. When he took me in, the circus was in bad shape. It was obvious that he had no real way of supporting us. Who does he mean by us? Is that why you started with acrobatics? Oh yeah, I should ask him about Mo too. Back then I was only nine years old. I begged the ringmaster to let me try and he finally gave in. Having a kid in the circus was probably the last thing in the world he wanted. I just wanted to be helpful so I could help the ringmaster. That's such a nice story. Okay, Mo. The ringmaster really believed in Mo. 100%, even though nobody else liked his stupid act. What will happen to the circus now that the ringmaster is gone? The beginning of the Lawrence Curls era, I suppose. I wonder if it's really all right to let Mo run the show. And Mo run the show rhymes. Mr. Wright, you don't know how much uh, about you don't know much about Mo, I suspect. You can see right through me. You can see right through me. Ah, oh, Nick, you can't let him get to you like that. You're an attorney. Okay, tell me about yourself. I can't believe what happened to the ringmaster. Such a wonderful man, what a pity. I have no clue what to do with my life now. I'm sorry? The circus meant everything to me. He's pulling like the, I don't know, like the, like, ooh, what will I do now with my life? He was everything to me. I would never, I would never kill someone that I love so much. But don't worry about me. There's still things that I have left to do in this world. You're so dramatic, man. Okay, um, time. What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my present physical condition, I don't really know much about what goes on outside of this room. Damn, that's depressing. Oh, we're sorry. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. Man, that was a lukewarm response. Do I have anything else I want to talk to you about? Oh, I kind of want to do this a little bit. Still undergoing re rehabilitation for my injuries. Still can't stand, but the doctors say I'll be able to walk again. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, actually, do I present the thing to him? I think I might have presented it to him. I was like, trying to remember exactly how I unlock these. I don't know if I actually have what I need, but uh don't really have much more beyond that. Maybe it's related to what happened to the ringmaster. Let me actually save first before I even try this. I just kind of want to see what I might need to unlock it. And if I have something, then great. If I don't, then... Sag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take that! We need Kenji to yassify this case. Kenji would be mortified by this case, dude. About the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how are you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. There was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice. Oh yeah, I think we can probably still talk to Regina, actually. He kind of implied that. Yeah, unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real case, cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Was he attacked by maybe one of uh, Regina's animals or something? I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try. I could see that. Oh, is everybody, what are y'all's uh, thoughts on Acro? I see people saying the chat is very split. He's better than Max and Ben, but that's not saying very much. <laughs> that's my opinion. <laughs> not saying much at all. Yay, she's here. Okay, cool. Probably here at least. Grr, I've got a bad feeling about this. I feel like it would make sense if it was uh, one of the animals that attacked him. It would explain why he hates Regina so much and They've attacked Phoenix like every time we've been in here, so <laughs> I feel like, you know, it makes sense. Ah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal! Oh, Maya, Nick! It's you guys! I haven't seen her in a while. I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. And, but I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. You're just gonna kill whatever walked in here? Cool. Um, monkey? I hate that little monkey. Okay, Russell Berry. Money the monkey. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Uh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, Dad? 
you mean that groomer apologist? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. Girl, do you even know that he's dead? Um, for a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad, and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. She is so naive. Oh, my God. Lord, she's been so, like, uh, sheltered being in the circus, huh? A star? That means my dad is looking down on me from the sky. She does not even understand death. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. I mean, it's kind of beautiful to think about it that way, but... <laughs> when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Hey, why'd you read my mind? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will. I think. I got a feeling that everyone's doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's all right with Regina. <laughs> oh, girly, girly, girly. I mean, it is beautiful in a way, but you know. <laughs> I feel like she just doesn't know about space. <laughs> just go back and clear up something. Why do you want to teach money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Oh, the ring or something? Something that means a lot to you. It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually... Oh, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. Do we get to interrogate the monkey next? Um, we should. When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Okay, no wonder. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? Oh, God. We gotta get the costume back before she'll talk or something, right? Gladly, I'll get it for you. Sure, why not? Leave it up to us. Guess there's no turning back, turning down that request. Yay, you're really gonna do it? Okay, can I present anything to you? Or are you just gonna be like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you later. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Um, I know what this is. Okay. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember writing this. <laughs> and I had it in my pocket for a little bit, too. That was crazy, right? This piece of paper was in your pocket. Um, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. And then I was like, I don't know, I guess I'll put it up on the poster board. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro. It's breakfast in the morning. Ugh, she's doing all this nice stuff for you and you're still being a douche to her, Acro. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket. I really think it's Acro. Do you put it in your pocket to frame her, I guess? Because he seems like he hates her too. Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged to someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... Yeah, literally she got in her pocket like right after she left his room, right? You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? <laughs> uh, so it was Regina who put it up there. Uh, she's so stupid. So yeah, I feel like Akira was just kind of taking advantage of her naivety to put it up. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Found Regina's pocket on the morning of the crime. Interesting. Okay. I guess we can show her the statue too. I don't know if she'll say anything. There's no denying it. Max is cool. I want to try flying someday with Max. She's already flown off into her own little world. Nick, I want to try flying too. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. I don't want you getting injured, Maya. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Max is so cool. Blah, 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 blah. What do you got to say about this guy? Oh, it's Akro. Is he in his room today? Yeah, he's always in his room. He just came back. I can't believe nobody gave him a first floor, like, room. They just decided to leave him trapped there. I would be pretty bitter, too, if I was him, honestly. 
We just came back for a meeting with him. I hope his legs get better soon. Akron is so incredible, especially on the trapeze. The trapeze is that enormous swing hanging from the top of the tent, right? Uh, it's totally him, dude. The swinging, he knows how to be in the air. I know it was him, dude. Yep, that's it. I really want to see him up there again. Acro the acrobat. I guess the only weird thing is it does seem like he's also trying to frame um, Max, though. It's like, why would he be trying to frame Max? Because he doesn't really seem like he has any beef with Max. It's mostly Regina. That's strange. Acro doesn't seem to have very many nice things to say about Regina. But Regina seems to like Acro just fine. I don't really understand his beef with her. Okay, I don't know if there is anything else to show her. Might just go look for the monkey. Did you? Oh, no, I don't want to see you anymore. Maybe. Might be in Moe's room, right? Oh, well, there's somebody here. Huh, Moe's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick! You're scaring me! Oh, there he is! What, what the hell are you doing in here, little booger? Nick, it's money! Oh, that money's holding something. That's it, that's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? All right, time to take on this monkey, attorney style. <laughs> okay, let me uh, try to save. Attorney, let, show him the badge, Ace. Come on, Phoenix, show him the badge. Give it back, monkey brain. I thought I said slay for a second. Ooh, 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 screw, screw. We gotta communicate with him. We gotta communicate with him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, ooh, 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 ooh. Yikes! Whoa, God! I just cursed him out in monkey language. I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you. You. I swapped it while money was distracted. Hey, we got it anyways! Whoa, you really. You're really on the ball today, Nick! Let me see, let me see it! Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. I wanna try it on! Ah, oh, she's so cute. Maybe then we'll take you- they'll take you into the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. You would never want that, Phoenix! Come on! Hun, what's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all! Oh well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the- Ah! Oh, Phoenix! I know you did not just say that! Cancel him! Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Girl, you could slap him for me, Maya. A shiny spangled vest is not Maya's size at all. It doesn't really seem that different, you know, size-wise to, um, whatchamacallit. Oh yeah, I don't need to see you. What am I doing? Uh, let me go back here. Move. Let's go back to Big Top. Oh, thank you, Bree. Hey, hey, back for a tiny bit. I wanted to know if you knew Star Kid Weeby, like the musical group on YouTube. I'm curious if Chat knows as well. I don't think I've heard of them. I can check them out though after the stream. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've heard too much about them. Are they good? Do they do like covers or original music? And thanks for the donation, Bree. Appreciate ya. They made the guy who didn't like musicals, Black Friday, and Nerdy Prudes must die. <laughs> they sound very musical theater. <laughs> I'd probably like them. Shiny Spangled Best. It's not my size at all. Here you go, Regina. <laughs> That's why Edgeworth dumped you, Nick. <laughs> exactly. Yay, thank you. You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? Um, this isn't mine, it was Leon's. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, I figure it's gotta be for somebody else, maybe. Maybe, uh, like the tiger or something? Leon's? Oh yeah, I guess she literally just said that. You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, lion, lion. Oh, the one that someone killed. Okay. Somebody killed the lion? Do do. you Can I talk to her? Yeah, Leon. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Okay. Her dad killed him. That... I can't remember if they mentioned that before or not. We pretend we didn't see that exactly. That's what I was like, I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna skip through. You didn't say that, Phoenix. No. Mm -hmm. 
During practice, Leon was sitting down and he opened his mouth, you know. Go! Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> killed him for being... <laughs> you know, Leon was just acting like a lion and then he killed him for it. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always love seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they love seeing you do that? Anyways. Oh, anyways. What was the bad thing? Oh, yeah. Leon bit someone during that practice. Was it Acro? Regina, everything was all right, though, right? Um, no, it wasn't all right. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when... And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Leon added to the court record. Animal show lion shot by the ringmaster six months... Ah, uh, literally, yeah, six months ago for biting a performer. I still... I'm, like, trying to see if it's acro. Because I'm like... Hmm... The murderer thing was referring to the ringmaster killing Leon. But it seemed like, yeah, he almost did. If it was Acro, he'd want to set up Regina, not Max, it seems like, since he's kind of like a Max simp. I don't know if he's like a simp, but you know. Oh, the bite of 87! <laughs> it do be very bite of 87, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, thank God we don't have to talk to you at all, Ben. That's been the best part of this uh, stream so far. We've barely talked to you at all. It's been awesome. What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but my physical- What? Bro, you're just making up shit now. I don't really know about what goes outside this room. We're sorry. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. Huh. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I kind of want to try it. So I think he got bit by the lion. I think that makes the most sense, right? Let's try it. Whatever. The bite of 87. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> Here we go. I have to ask, how are you injured? He's lying. If that were the real cause, you'd have no reason to keep it secret. Are you trying to tell me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Okay, let's present Leo. Take that! Take that! Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. Hey, we did it! I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battle the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Was it Regina? Oh shit. <laughs> oh god damn it. I meant to press no okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh god dang it! Oh wait, can I maybe I should resave. Does it matter, actually? Ugh, whatever. I meant to press R, not E. God dang it. Take that. So how about it? Oh. You mind if I ask one question first? Go ahead. What do you want to know? Why would I possibly battle the king of the jungle for something like that? Oh, I must be going in the wrong direction. Oh, really? To save someone. Mr. Wright, I assume that it would take... Sorry, I assure you, it would take more than... That to get me to go after a lion. I need more info. You seem to be telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Okay. God dang it. Screw you, Acro. I hate you. Ah, you screwed me up! It's your fault that I hit E instead of R. Is Mo here again? Nah. Nah. Oh, wait, no, I can't. What am I doing? Okay! Lodging Plaza. Um. I guess I could try talking to what's his face. I don't want to try talking to you. You're so full of it, dude. Yep. Why did I even? <laughs> My name's Ben. I'm a loser. Um, I guess I could do try profiles at least. Anything? God. 
What's your excuse, Ben? What's your excuse for not answering anything? Okay, let's go to the cafeteria, maybe. Is it, um, I guess probably the detention center, too. Okay, cool. Honestly, I feel like whenever I'm lost, I should just go to the cafeteria. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bistro du Cirque, aka the cafeteria. Um, it smells so good in here, and those burgers look great. The drooling, she's really like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible for anyone with a hankering for a burger. <laughs> One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell by the smell. Well, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. Okay. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you going to do? That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger. He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he said he could... <laughs> I feel like the fact he's being so dramatic is also what makes me think he did it. He couldn't go on. He was, he was that upset. Yeah, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. It's like, you know, sometimes on Danganronpa, it's like the person you see who's like the most upset before a trial is the one who did it. It's kind of like that same, like, line of thinking. Meat buns. Oh, he was making meat buns. We should, we should just change that. I'll read his meat buns from now on instead of burgers. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster shoes. What, really? That makes you look suspicious. I don't think you did it, but, you know, still. Max would still be an issue, though. Max? Because I'd want to fire that douche. He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. No. All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy, you know. What is he talking about? Get over it. Get over what tragedy, Mo? Besides, you know, the murder. Oh, don't worry that it's nothing, nothing at all. You must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Now he's talking about the other tragedy, the lion biting tragedy. Ding, 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 correct Mundo. Doesn't he mean ding? Mo, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Ugh, no, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone can get over the tragedy seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Okay, here we go. Psyche lock. Okay, only two at least. Um, so we're getting closer to the truth. It was about, yeah, it was just a little ax. Uh, just a little ax. <laughs> you know, Acro just doesn't have any legs anymore. It's a teeny tiny accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, hey. Okay, let's go ahead and present it. I think we probably have enough. <laughs> Man, I'm still so mad I misclicked. It's fine. It's whatever. Actually, what happens if I present you uh, the lion? You wouldn't know it, but I was responsible for naming all the animals at the circus. You named Money the monkey and Regent Regina's tiger? Guilty as charged. But, oh, uh, sorry, I was reading the chat too. <laughs> I got distracted. But Leon got his name from Ringmaster. Really? He always said keep names simple and easy to associate. Simple and clean. Nick's name is easy to associate, right? Right? <laughs> I always told Russell, if that's what you think, then call him Lion the Lion. It's a great name, don't you think? Imagine if he could talk. I'm Lion. <laughs> lion. I don't get it. <laughs> that's when Russell said, don't lie to yourself. That name is awful. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it, I guess. <laughs> I think one of you guys said I have everything, so that's good. Okay. I feel like we probably just present Leon again. Get over it. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. 
when the world went on at the circus. Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when, when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Oh, look at you, Phoenix! You're so healthy and cool! For like in grilled chicken over a- Who likes grilled chicken sandwiches over a burger? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Nick! You're lying to yourself! Uh... Actually, I kinda got an idea of what happened back then. Uh, Mo, you said something about an accident. This one happened to be the cause of that accident. Would it? <laughs> I have no health! Oh, this is so sad. Take that! I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How, how did you... Boom! I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous- I can't for real, that's- Everybody's like, oh, the ringmaster was such an amazing man. And it's like he was really have his daughter stick her head in a lion's mouth. <laughs> Nobody questioned that. Nobody was like, this seems a little abusive. <laughs> this seems a little weird that he's having his underage daughter work, you know, for a living. When she shouldn't be- she shouldn't be working. She should be a kid. She should be going to school. Learning about the world. But now nope, he's got her performing, working for him. Putting her head in lion's mouths. Doing all these dangerous stunts around old creepy men. Hate that man. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? See, Mo's the only one who cares. He's the only, only OG. Yeah, but Reg Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Okay. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Uh... Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo. Is this the person you promised you wouldn't say anything? Okay, it's probably what's-his-face, right? Right, right. We'll try it. It must have been Acro, right? Ha! How did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No, no way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please, tell me what you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Acro. Yay, we did it! Nice. Okay, we'll probably get everything we need for Acro after this, too. Um, yes, I got my points back! Yes, slay! Oof. Oh man, Regina might be a good candidate for FNAF. <laughs> Regina would love FNAF. That's what she should be doing with her life. She'd be going to the movie theater, hanging out with friends, and watching FNAF. It's like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. Ah, damn. What hell would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. Oh, Jesus. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. Oh, my God. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? Oh! Now it's starting to all... Oh, it's coming together, baby! He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. Damn. Brother? Okay, it makes more sense to why he would go to save his brother. They were acrobatic team of brothers. Acro and... <laughs> Acro and Bat. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Okay. Acro's brother. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Aw, oh, he's so cute. Sean Dingley. <laughs> My last name, dude. I cannot get over it. But everyone always called him Bat. He fell. <laughs> when will it end? When will it end? God damn it. Let me guess. He's like 26 as well. Everyone. I guess it makes more sense why he's so bitter towards Regina. Are you at least age appropriate, Bat? I doubt it. I doubt it. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bat blurts out, let me perform with Leon. Why do you do that? I don't know. He wouldn't impress Regina, I guess. But that's what caused the accident. Oh, my God. 
Jesus. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. Ah, oh, thank you, Blaze. We made that shirt as a slave. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I got a... I got him on my shirt. Does he look cute? <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Good old, good old ghost face. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Blaze. We're doing this trial. It's <laughs> cursed. <laughs> very, very cursed. Uh, check his age. Does it have his age yet? 22. That's the same as Max, right? Older than Max. <laughs> I hate every single person in this case, <laughs> besides Regina and Mo. It was it was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. Oh, what the fuck? Was Leon in love with Regina? We're just gonna throw that in there. <laughs> he, you mean? He, you mean Leon? Yeah, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Aw, Leon was so happy. <laughs> he was like, yay, I get to finally kill all these creepy slay Leon. Oh, what a king. What a king. God, I stand Leon. <laughs> what a king. I love Leon. Oh, my God. This is even better than the <laughs> Okay, I feel a little bit bad. I feel a little bad what happened to Bat. But still, all these creepy men in this circus, Leon, he just... He want to protect his girl, his girl, his girl Regina. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Some sick grin. <laughs> no way, that's impossible. A smirking lion, a flying murderer. Why is it seen that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um. We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. Is it gonna be like one of those things where it's like Regina told him to bite down or something? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. Jesus Christ. Man, you shouldn't have animals in circuses anyways. I feel bad what happened to Bat, you know, like, I'm half joking about the slay. <laughs> Like comments. <laughs> I'm half joking. But, like, uh, man, you shouldn't be having animals in circuses either, especially dangerous animals like this. Doing these types of stunts, man. I guess they said it was like Regina's idea to do the stunt, but maybe you don't have a 16 year old running your operation. Well, you guys are so serious. What am I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Yeah, the Regina obsession's very weird. Like, I just, why didn't they age her up? Like, I feel like I would like this so much more, like this trial, if she was just like 20 or something. I don't know why they decided to make her 16. I wonder, I'm trying to think too. Honestly, I kind of feel like maybe Regina is a mastermind and she's just slaying all these creepy men for hitting on her. <laughs> she's just like, she's like, hey, Bat, maybe like put your head into the lion. Oh no, Leon! <laughs> like, Leon! <laughs> maybe it was, maybe it was her, and you know what? Slay. But the truth doesn't put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Oh, it's that pepper, too. I don't understand how this is gonna be important. There he goes again, acting like his crazy normal self, his normal crazy self. She just wanted to reenact the bite of 87. She's just a FNAF stan. <laughs> you know, that's all she wanted to do. And for that, you know, I can't blame her. Ah, achoo! Achoo! Nice! What a wonderful sneeze! Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's a basic clownmanship. Girly, I know you a uh, gotty understand that. Nick, I think I make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. Bat would always tease her with pepper. Okay. Is it gonna be that like, they're trying to blame Regina? But there's no evidence of her sneezing at the crime scene. <laughs> Is that it? That, from my point of view, those two always looked so perfect. Don't make me hate you, Mel. Don't make me take you out of the thumbnail. <laughs> Don't make me take you out of the thumbnail, Mo. Okay, let's move. I think we can talk to Acro again, right? Oh, Lord. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Run my I know, right? I know. I'm just glad we don't have Pearl here, at least. You know? <laughs> like, 
Oh, man. I feel like it's a shame because I honestly do think the case is, like, interesting. Other than all the creepy, like, Regina obsession stuff. But it's just that part is such a damper. <laughs> it's such a damper on this case. It's hard. It's hard to see past it. Uh, Mr. Wright, back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll, I'll be back. Waiter, was that someone else? <laughs> we're back because Akira's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows what that we know. Well, well, it seems you got things you want to talk about. So fire away. Nobody's safe. I'm putting Regina in the thumbnail. Screw this, dude. <laughs> Screw this. She's the, she can't do anything wrong in my eyes. All she does is slay and serve in the good way and in every way. As she should, as she should, what a queen. About the wheelchair. Okay, let's, uh, let me act to this. Accident during practice. He's lying. Okay, whew. Sometimes it kind of scares me when it like pops up automatically like that. I feel like I'm gonna choose the wrong thing. Take that! Leon, six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. <sighs> Yay. Hopefully we got the third one. I guess we'll see. I know we got the second one. On the right track, I need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion were coming at me, I'd be running. Okay, we got this part too. Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Ooh, okay. You're creepy, <laughs> creepy brother. <laughs> Take that! Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Ugh. Hey, one more! Mo, he must have told you. Yeah, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't me mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. Oh, he looks pissed. <laughs> Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. What happened to Acro after this? Oh, that's a lion stock image, is it really? <laughs> that's so funny. I feel like you do see that sometimes in games. Cut down together, that was where he slipped and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together, like always. I see, but an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's last psyche lock. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Mm. <laughs> um, it was Regina, wasn't she? <laughs> she was like, remember Leon the butt of 87? <laughs> Do it! Akra, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like is the reason you're being evasive. Oh, interesting. Take that. Take that! Oh my god, four bars? Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she's cruel. Well done. Mr. Attorney, you've got quite a set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. Wasn't it her also who kind of like... Was kind of trying to get the tiger to attack whoever entered the big top too, so she knows. She knows. She knows how to, how to work and how to tell them to attack. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? I don't know. Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no little had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What what are you talking about? Don't oh god, maybe I overdid it again. <laughs> but if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll Okay, here's proof that you had it out for Regina this whole time. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's this thing, right? It seemed like he put it in her pocket after uh, she left his place. I'm gonna try it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Six bars? This, where'd you get it? Regina posted on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. 
Hey, it looks like we got it. Um, I guess I noticed it was there around breakfast time. I always take Akaro's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? Ugh. That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. So was he just, like, addressing that to her? Now that I think about it. But he was also trying to be like, oh, she didn't, you know, she wouldn't do that. She doesn't know how to tell an animal to attack my brother. Six months ago, have you? I have conclusive evidence of what took place. It kind of seemed like you wanted to meet with her, honestly. Yay! We did it! <laughs> Unlocks this. Yes! Full health again! Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. I'm actually cooking this time for once. For once. Oh, hey, nice. We can do this. My legs were injured by Leon six months ago. My younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. Okay. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do. <sighs> yeah. That's insane! Didn't you know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid, too. That line was very old to begin with. An age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. Man, couldn't they let Leon go after, uh, Max? <laughs> and Ben, too, and Trillo? <laughs> Just give him a whole dinner. <laughs> to the movies. Poor Bat. Then Leon chomped down and I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? Damn, Leon was out for blood. <laughs> Leon was just trying to protect Regina, the only person in the circus who wanted to protect Regina. He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Okay. So you do have a reason to keep going, even though the ringmaster is dead. Okay. Ah, oh, man, I thought we were over this love triangle crap, but they just keep adding more people to it. I kind of was worried about that, honestly, when I saw, like, a new, like, person getting introduced, like, Akira. I was like, oh, God, please don't also be a part of the love triangle. Bad and Regina. They were such a great, they were such great friends. Oh, yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. Uh, like a bloody cloth or something? What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Just keeping that as a keepsake, bro? Gross, it's covered in blood! This scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Okay. Oh. <laughs> she, like, rubbed it in, like, uh, cat treats. <laughs> No, you should totally stick your head in the lion and put on this scarf that I totally did not dunk in Fancy Feast before I put it on you. No, no, definitely, definitely not. Just go for it. Go for it, bestie. Oh, thank you. Please wait. I guess you could say the stakes were high. <laughs> Got him. Got him. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Oh, she totally, she totally dipped it in fancy face. I, I see you, girl. I see you. Oh! When he bit, why was he, why was he smiling? When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know. Mo said the same thing. What do you think it all means? Oh. I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Yeah, so yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming it's my queen. Miss Von Karma. I've already heard everything. So hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. And that is for me to decide. I tell people what evidence is and what it's not. I think we should begin our preparations now, Akro. Preparations. I've served the summons to Akro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Akro will talk more at the prosecutor's office. Akro, a witness? Come on, that's how you know he's guilty. Come on, Akro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. Now what do we do, Nick? Are we going to hand? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. Ah, oh, nice place. You love on Karma too. I love her. She is so awesome. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. She is so slay. I love her. 
She needs to whip every person in this trial. <laughs> oh my god. Save your progress up to this point. Honestly, if it is Regina who like did all this, I kind of just feel <laughs> like rename the stream Slay Regina with her in the thumbnail. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? <laughs> December 30th. Good morning, Max. Oh yeah, good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparkling self today. Oh my god, yes. Guys, it's, it's the trial. We're so close. We're so close. Weeby, we have great taste. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. You don't seem like your usual sparkling self today. I'm always like this before I go in front of an audience. I'm working up to it. Teehee. Oh, there she is. Don't get nervous, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk that I spiked with cyanide. Slay, Regina. Yes, give him that. Give him that rat poison milk. It might taste, it might be a little bit of an aftertaste, but don't worry, Maxie. Also, here's your fancy feast scarf. Let's go visit our region later today. Oh, that's so true, Queen. Regina. <laughs> How fabulous, my sweetie pie. My sweetie pie. <laughs> If he does drink it, and he's like, this tastes a little of the problem. <laughs> my sweetie pie princess, you came to watch my performance today. Of course I did. Mo told me I should come and watch this. Mo said that. So what kind of performance will you put on today? Interesting that Mo said that. Let me guess you'll fly at the end. Um... It's not that kind of show. Isn't that right, my sweeties? Huh? I think my sweetie pie princess doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't seem to realize what's going on or even where she is or who she is or that she's being groomed. I don't know, man. I think she might know and I think she might be taking y'all out one by one. As she should. Well, Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtain. I'll see you later. Today I'm just a member of the audience. Fabulous. Enjoy yourself out there. Good luck, Max. You're the best. Oh, man. That would be a great... <laughs> that would be a great twist, honestly. Regina's different, don't you think, Nick? Oh. Top of the morning to ya. Everybody, let's get ready to get stuck in legal limbo. How low can you go? Ask Von Karma. She likes to go low. Mo, top of the morning to ya, governor. Um, you, you British now? Is that is that the joke? That's the ticket. Act of the day. Attack of the day starts with energy in the morning. The early bird gets the worm. But then again, worms lack higher brain function. <laughs> Here, Max. What the fuck? Why is everybody giving? I also brought you some cyanide milk. That's why I invited Regina to see your death. Have some milk. Oh my! Thank you. So, how are you today, right? Well, I got the feeling that today I'm going to face off against the real culprit. You mean... Oh, damn! Oh, shit! He's, okay, he's just saying it out there. You mean Acro? Damn, how'd you know? Huh? You think he did it? I mean, duh. Be careful. He's used to putting his life on the line. Literally. He's got guts to spare. If all I've got to worry about is how thin the tightrope is, I'm used to it already. It just means I won't be able to press him, like I can other witnesses. What are you going to do then, Nick? I guess today we'll just have to do without our usual psychological warfare. Today we rely on evidence. <laughs> no, no, we got a blue badge for the witness though, Phoenix. That's like our thing. It's the only way we'll get past Acro and the truth. You're right, but it's gonna be tough. Anyways, I want to make sure that Regina sees it all today. It's important. Then she'll finally have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. You want us to make sure Regina watches? Yeah, that's why I brought her here to court today. Um, what's that supposed to mean? She needs to know that when people die, they don't just become stars. Seriously, who told her that shit? I may be an old-fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars. She probably thinks, like, the earth is flat, too, dude. She just believes whatever you tell her. And it's just, like, the fact she's so naive, it makes it worse. Court is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Galactica. He loves the ringmaster to death. I just can't see why he would kill the ringmaster. I'm not really sure either, honestly. He does seem to be the biggest suspect, but 
He does love the remaster a lot, allegedly. But you know, it's like in Dawn of Rampa that happens all the time. They're like, oh no, Blah Blah died. I loved her. She was my bestie. And then you find out during the case, during the trial, why they weren't actually her bestie. So I can see it being that. Court is now in session. Trial for Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Miss Von Karma, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution would like to revise its previous theory of events. What's the meaning of this? Since she was proven wrong, we have discovered a new witness, or shall I say a new eyewitness. One that saw Maximilian Galactica fly off from the scene of the crime. Whoa, oh my god. Order, order! I had a feeling something like this would come up. Due to this revision, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. An explanation the prosecution will present if the need so arises. In the fact that my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene on my orders. Poor gumshoe. Very well, please call your witness to the stand. Time to get to work, or shall I say, time to walk the courtroom tightrope. Here we go. Oh, another burr! He brought an extra one! Name an occupation. <laughs> His name. Ken Ken Dingling. But everyone calls me Acro. Why don't you want to go by Dingling? <laughs> I'm employed as an acrobat at the very big circus. Where were you the night of the crime? I was in my room that night. That's crazy. No uh no one around to see uh oh literally too. It just makes so much sense if he did it, because yeah, the death happened here, Mo saw the crime-ish, and then Acro's up top. Okay. If you look at the map, you can see the where see the witness's room is near the crime scene. My my room is on the third floor, the crime scene is below my window. Um the night of the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us what you witnessed? Okay. Here we go. Max flew past my window and he said, It is I, Maximilian, who killed the ringmaster. It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting my bed. Around that time, I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. That's kind of a cool shot. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying by my window. How we haven't. <laughs> we haven't cleared the monkey yet, have we, guys? <laughs> what if? What if Acro trained the monkey and he put the monkey in the costume and lowered him down so that he would kill the ringmaster? And also the drone umbrella, it could come, it could come into play too! No footprints! <laughs> okay, I'm just being stupid. Right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. <laughs> um, the witness's testimony matches up exactly with that of the clown. If that's the case, then there is very little prosecution need add. All that's left is to explain how the defendant disappeared into the sky that night. Hold it! Hold it! Before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness. A foolish choice by a foolish fool who wishes to feel the foolish sadness of a sad fool. A man must know the proper timing for things. Mr. Phoenix, right? Just like your old friend. <laughs> You're just trying to trigger me? You're just trying to trigger me now? Bringing up my deceased, allegedly, boyfriend? Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth did. Oh. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? In the words of Miss Von Karma, may I quote yesterday's proceedings? There's no way that actually happened. Very well, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Okay. What I witness? Should I just press everything like normal? Yeah. <laughs> I like doing that. I was resting in my bed. Hold it! Were you really? You said you were resting in bed. One would thus assume that you turned the lights off in your room, correct? I love how <laughs> nitpicky a phoenix can get sometimes. That's correct. 
there are safety lights around the outside of the lodging house. It's so bright, sometimes it can make it hard to sleep. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. If that's the case, wouldn't it be a good idea to close some curtains? I asked my little birdies to do it, but they wouldn't do it for me. Bruh. I never really thought of that. <laughs> I guess that means I should buy some curtains. Oh, yes, makes sense. Sometimes I do myself. Make myself useful in these chambers. Oh, God! The witness will proceed with his testimony. Around that time, I heard a large thump from outside the window. Weren't there two thumps, actually? Now that I think about it, I think there was at some point. Hold it! The room was on the third floor, right? Yeah. And you said that you were resting in bed. That is correct. But you were still able to hear a sound from outside. I was indeed. <laughs> guys, what if the bird did it? Guys, what if it was like a bunch of birds got inside <laughs> the costume of Maximilian and they all did it together? And Astro, Astro, <laughs> Acro trained them to do that. Whoa, whoa, I'm cooking yet again. Pressing Acro doesn't seem to be getting results. Huh. But maybe something was contradictory in what he said just now. Uh, I, was, I was thinking too much about my stupid bird <laughs> theory. There is a contradiction, probably. Allegedly. There's a huge contradiction with the testimony that was just given. Objection! Objection. If there's a contradiction, then prove it with evidence. Oh, god dang it. I don't remember what it was. I was thinking about birds. She's right. Let's see some evidence. Do you have any evidence to support your claim of a contradiction? Oh, god damn it. Did I save recently? <laughs> Wait a second, maybe I can re maybe I can just rewind a little bit and see what what were they talking about? I was talking about birds, okay? You're still able to. You said that you were. Oh yeah, the thumping thing. That's what they were talking about. The third floor, right? Correct. You heard. Okay, maybe it was the thumping thing then. Oh shit. Okay. Whew! Okay. I thought I actually clicked on something. Um, what was his testimony? Was there anything about that? Enormous rays a week ago. Some famous symbols. Do you have anything about the thumps? Time of death, 1015. I may have. I may have fudged up a little bit here. <laughs> I may have fudged up a little bit uh, here. Oh god, I was too busy talking about birds, damn it! You were still able to hear a sound from the outside. I was indeed. Pressing acro doesn't seem to be getting results. You're resting in bed, that is correct. Still able to hear a sound from outside. I don't know, did he actually have any kind of, uh... Ceremony. Nar. I don't think I can save right now. I think I'm done. Punched over. Contains pepper. Blood force trauma. That one, maybe? Uh, remaster six months ago. Very big circus. Orange juice. Got a raise. Something in the profiles, right? Like Max's testimony? Nah. Nah. Does not seem like it. God dang it. Okay. Try this. Okay, no, 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 What in the world is this? Oh, you just don't get it, do you, Mr. Phoenix Rides? I didn't think so. What don't I get? You're not going to be able to get through this one with your usual bluff routine. Your client looks to be ready to take off at once. Straight towards a guilty verdict. You were bluffing? I will not forgive any more mockeries made of this court! Whoops! Witness! I mean, <laughs> witness! Would you mind repeating your testimony? Certainly. Let me redo that one. Oh, I didn't get- I didn't get anything? Okay, that's cool. Let me save now. I don't know why I didn't get any, uh... I heard a large... Okay. Just after 6, I was resting my- 10, I was resting my bed. A thump. A few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. Max, only saw him from behind, that's what it looked like. I thought I was dreaming. 
the time I heard a thump. Okay, let me try to press this again. Room is on the third floor, right? Yeah, and you said that you were resting in bed. That is correct, but you were still able to hear a sound from outside. I was indeed. Pressing accurate doesn't seem to get results. Um. Is it because of how far away he is from the crime scene he shouldn't have been able to hear it? Like the circus map? Is that it? I don't know if I really understand what it wants me to do here. Y'all are saying I have the evidence. Acro pocket the morning. I am not cooking. Hmm, but maybe something was contradictory in what he said just now. I'll try the map and see. There's a huge contradiction with the testimony that was just given. Okay. Ugh. Let me just try it. I actually don't really think it's this either, but it's kind of what it seemed like he was talking about. Take that! <laughs> okay, let's just keep pressing. Let's just keep pressing. <laughs> okay. A few moments later, I saw someone flying outside. Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a mannequin! Or perhaps a monkey? Um, well, setting aside the possibility of a mannequin, an action figure is plausible. You have no need to mince words with Mr. Phoenix, right? Testify to the truth and only the truth, just as if it were, as if we were with you that night. I believe it was human. Um, damn, I just strengthened his testimony. What if Akira's statement jives with the facts? Okay, can I do this action with anything? Okay, nothing wrong. For now, what's the matter, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I should tread lightly. Hmm. Okay, just keep trying. Max Galactic, I only saw him from behind. The light in your room was turned off then, right? That's true, I was going to bed after all. So with the lights off, you were still able to clearly see a human fly by your window. Because of the backlights. Safety lights lit things up enough for me to see. But honestly, there was only enough light for me to see the silhouette outside my window. It was the person's back, so I couldn't see white roses on the front. Did you see any of the other symbols? I clearly saw the silk hat, as well as the cloak wrapped around his body. I'm convinced that the person I saw was Max Galactica. Um, the more I press him, the less results I seem to get. But maybe there was something- God dang it! Are you just doing this to Why are you doing this to me, Phoenix? What's the matter, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I better not overdo it. Is it gonna be the stupid statue? That's kind of what I'm starting to think now. Because they're like, could it have been a real person? Could it have been just the statue? They put the costume over the statue to make it look like Max? Then how the hell did they kill him if there is an actual person in there? To be honest, I thought I was dreaming. When you started when you started thinking what you saw wasn't a dream. Objection! That's not important. Objection! I believe that the prosecution has done a bit of maintenance on the witness's memory. Um Let's ask the witness. Oh god! <laughs> Objection! Sustained. Don't sustain that! Akra must be lying about what he saw, right? Of course he is. Now the challenge will be to expose his lies in court. Well, put the pedal to the metal, Nick! Oh my god. I'm just pretending I was resting in my bed. Heard a large thump outside the window, then a few moments later I saw someone flying right by my window. Max Galactica, I can saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. Oh, she said 99? Dang. Statue's missing. I'm like, well, I was thinking like the person who did the, uh, did the murder stole the statue? And we got like three different counts. We got 98, 99, and 100. I don't remind, but that's who it looked like. I think it was this one that was like, the could have been an inanimate object. Turned off then. I'm in a bed after all. So with the lights off, human fly by your window. Safety lights, let it up. Honestly, 
up, person's back, get to the rose in front, just see any other symbols. I saw the silk hat as well as a cloak wrapped around his body. Not convinced that the person I saw, I'm convinced it was Max Galactica. There's something, wait, wait. No, maybe it was the one before that then? What's the matter? Nothing, your honor. I actually shouldn't better not overdo it. <laughs> She's just waiting for me. Flying right by my window. Okay, I think it was this one. Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a mannequin or perhaps a large action figure. Um, while setting aside the possibility of mannequin, an action figure is possible. We have no need to mince words with Mr. Knight. Testify the truth and only the truth, as if we were there that night. I believe it was human. Um. <sighs> it's like, is there really a contradiction? I just think it could be <laughs> the mannequin. There's a huge contradiction with the testimony given. Objection, if there's a contradiction. She's right, let's see some evidence. Do you have any evidence? Oh god, I might need y'all's help with this. I don't think I'm doing all that well. Run statue. God damn it. <laughs> I might need a hint. Okay. I might need a hint. Okay. Oh god dang it. What in the world is this? Ah oh, man, I feel like I'm onto something, but it's just like sometimes the game isn't right. Later, I saw someone flying right by my window. Around the time, I heard a thump noise. Just after 10, I was resting in my bed. Just thump noise. I saw him from behind. But that's who it looked like. To be honest, I thought I was dreaming. I don't know. Translucent. Picture of the crime scene. Made to order hat. <laughs> you should we you should totally show your attorney's badge. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it. Okay. None of the quarter witnesses ever point out the hair and how they saw it or not. If it was a witness and didn't see his iconic purple hair, I'd be sure I wasn't seeing Max. That's true. Oh, it's the hat? Did he not mention the hat? Heard a thump. Oh, Max, only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. Let's try this. Turn off, going to bed. Let's see, clear through my window. Lights went up. Okay, was it that the hat? Oh, wait, was that it? Was God, it's been a while. Like I said, I've been trying to forget this. Oh, yeah, the hat was left at the crime scene, wasn't it? So he shouldn't have seen the hat. Ah, I think so. This person's back, so I couldn't see the white roses. Do you see any other symbols? I clearly saw the silk hat. Okay, that's what it was. The more I press him, the less results. But maybe. Okay, so that is it. I totally forgot that the hat was left there. Huge contradiction! Objection! I think I actually have it this time, for once! Do you have evidence? For once, I think I do. Okay, found the crime scene. I just need to reread through these sometimes. Okay, <laughs> I'm like <laughs> waiting for the music to, to go down. You claim to have seen the exact same thing Mo saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down out your window that night. That would have been quite difficult considering the state that I'm in. Just looking outside of the window was a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame because you would have noticed the silk hat was found on the scene. Uh, it fell off after he passed my window. I wouldn't be shocked <laughs> if he says that. that. That's the ringmaster's hat, right? Afraid not. No matter how you look at it, this is Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max has two silk hats? No, this is a handmade, one-of-a-kind model. Made only for Maximilian Galactica. I'm trying to defend my client for some reason. Which means, Acro, that you've been fibbing on the stand. You should probably go to prison for that, but you won't. Order, order. Objection, as always. It looks like someone just had to open their mouth before thinking. Are you okay, Nick? Well, I suppose my... I opened my big mouth and now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Wright? What would cause this witness to commit pu perjury on this court? He has a grudge against Max. He was dreaming. Acro's the... 
Ooh, spicy! I kind of do want to accuse him, but... <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. Acro is dreaming. He's the real culprit. He has a grudge against Max. Does he really have a grudge against Max? I guess Mo thinks he's the real culprit, so I'm like... Should I? That's kind of spicy, but then they're gonna be like, mm, back it up with evidence, Phoenix. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I don't have any. Huh. Oh, does he have a grudge against Max? Fuck it, let's do it. Spicy! Your honor. On this occasion, the defense accuses Acro himself. On this occasion, accuses Acro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Get him! Mr. Wright, are you serious? Deadly serious, your honor. <laughs> Why are you always accusing my clients? I think your tips, trips to the circus have served you well. You seem to have learned, learned how to try and grab at an audience's hearts and minds. Ah. Uh. Your honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by theatrics. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors with the old spluff in the book. Really? If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. <laughs> he's basically a Disney princess. He's talking to the birds right now. Come on. He's calm enough for it to be almost scary. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is saying rather calm and collected. Stop. Stop accusing my client. Stop accusing my dad, Phoenix. Ah, the little birdies. The birdies shouldn't go to, uh, they shouldn't go to jail with him. Mr. Dingaling, do you have any response to the defense's accusation? I don't really need to say a thing, do I? What do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. That's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me of murder of all things? He is so guilty. He's trying to work up the sympathy card so hard, too. See, even a sliver of common sense it makes it clear the accusation is ludicrous. Cross examine the birds! <laughs> oh, would not be the first time. She's, she's right. Way to pick on the disabled, you heartless, cruel man. Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix has a poopy head! Why is there a child in this game? Hey, is that you, Pearl? See that, Mr. Phoenix, right? If you're trying to drum up support from the peanut gallery... Oh my goodness, peanut. That's how you do it. Uh... I think that's enough of this little game. I've got a doctor's note to confirm that Acro is unable to stand under his own power. What? No, what is that? What is that, dragon? <laughs> what is what is that icon? Oh my god, Benjamin with the Nikkei pup? I'm fucking dead. Somebody save Nikkei. Robot Nikkei. Oh my god, I'm dead. That is so cursed. Oh my god, that is so cursed. I've got the doctor's note to confirm that Akuro is unable to stand under his own power. Maybe the defense is planning on making a claim to counter this as well. I can hear the defense now. Acro had an accomplice. What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? Did Acro have an accomplice? I don't fucking know. Um. Um. <laughs> Maybe. Of course he did. Of course he didn't. I was kind of thinking he did. But I don't know who. Maybe Ben. Of course he did! It's impossible for Acro to be the murderer in this case. If that's the case, and it's natural for one to consider the possibility of accomplices. Um, you don't say. Ah, not good, not good. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> I was like, we in the clear? Nope. Not according to Phoenix. Don't tell me you think you're going to get off easy. What? You must not have heard that sound just now. Maybe it wasn't clear enough. Uh, the cracking of my lick. Of my, uh, my whip. The sound of you falling into your own trap can be heard hard to notice sometimes. Mr. Wright. It seems as if you won't be stopping at Acro, but it will be but we'll be making other accusations. <laughs> if Acro did not have an accomplice, things are not looking good for you. I understand, Your Honor. Am I really about to accuse the monkey? Gulp. Oh Jesus Christ. Let's continue. <laughs> 
don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me for this one. <laughs> don't judge me for this, okay? Okay? Come on, there's nobody else. There's literally nobody else. Besides maybe his brother, but I don't think he's, uh, yeah, he's literally in a coma, so. No, I don't think that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> Come on, guys. I want to say in my defense, I think he's a pretty good accomplice. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go! You don't say! <laughs> Wait! Wait, this is suddenly looking very bad. <laughs> don't tell me you think you're going to get off easy. It could be- it could have been- come on! It could have been the monkey! What? Oh, did you hear that? Hear what? The sound of you getting caught in your own trap! What a splendid accomplice! I'm sure this accusation is built on- <laughs> It is! On a sec okay, he just put something shiny on the rope and then the monkey wanted to, <laughs> he wanted to pick up the- He wanted to bring up the- Come on, come on! It's, it's a good one, it's a good- It's a good accusation, foundation! Yes, Mr. Wright! Do you have any proof that this- <laughs> They're actually letting me continue this! <laughs> I thought they were just gonna- Just gonna curb stomp me immediately! Um, is the statue shiny? Is that shiny? <laughs> oh, it is kind of shiny! <laughs> I think I might be cooking! I might be cooking a little bit! Cross exam with the monkey! God, I hope so! That would save this case! <laughs> or almost save it, at least. It's like a wooden box. I think- Use the monkey again! <laughs> He likes shiny things. You put the you put the bust on the fake Maximilian. The monkey wants to pull it up with the rope. GG. We're we're good. We got this. We fucking got this. Take that. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's about to Mr. Right? Yes, yes, your honor. <laughs> The piece of evidence is lacking in persuasive power, but it's shiny! You didn't miss that sound, did you, Mr. Right? You know the sound of you receiving a- God dang it. Ah, oh, god dang it. Was the monkey actually- was I actually honest to something though? Because they didn't punish me after that. <laughs> the sound of you receiving a penalty. Arg. What are you doing, Nick? Accusing a monkey? What'd you say about this, Mr. Right? Did Mr. I don't know if he actually has an accomplice. <laughs> um, I don't think it would be Regina, would it? He doesn't seem like he likes her, unless that's like the plan, you know, to begin with. They actually did work together. Hmm. I can see that being the case. Uh, let me just see if I can rule out him not having an accomplice. Now then, this must be when you get to hear the name of the mystery accomplice. Not this time, Von Karma. What? Oh yeah, should I reload actually? Maybe I should. Okay, I actually just thought that was wrong, so... <laughs> Let me reload! Of course he didn't! Not this time! What? Okay, this seems right! You're not gonna sucker me into this one! What are you blabbing about, Mr. Right? <laughs> like how it let me go on <laughs> the monkey tangent! <laughs> I like how they were like, no, no, we want to hear more. Why do you think it was the monkey, Weeby? <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Shoo. There was no... <coughs> man, excuse me. There was no accomplice. Acro planned and committed this murder all by himself. Oh, man, that was fun. <laughs> order, order. I've never had so much fun getting something wrong. What the? What are you getting at? Way to keep them on their toes, Nick! Now I'm gonna have to prove how it all fits together. I have to sh I have to show how Acro murdered Russell Berry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. I can't stop attacking. I'm doomed! Alright, let's do it. Mr. Phoenix, right? If this witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Uh, Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? Um, at the crime scene? 
uh, in his room or at the crime scene. One or the other. I'm still kind of wondering if he actually did do the rope thing. But maybe he, like, killed him somehow. I don't know. I want to do the crime scene, but also I kind of want to do his room. Fuck it, let's do it. He was obviously here the entire time. That's Acro's room. Pretty simple, eh? Acro wasn't able to leave the lodging by himself. In that case, there can be only one correct answer. Acro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. Oh, what? Are you nuts? What you say, Mr. Dingling? The birds. I'll let them speak for me. It's an interesting theory. He's so calm and collected, man. Um, that- that's it? <laughs> Considering what you propose is impossible, yeah, that's it. You weirdo, you freak. Um, uh, Mr. Wright, I hope he has his birds attack me at some point. That'd be kind of memey. Yes, your honor. As the witness has stated, your assertion is impossible. As he is in a wheelchair, there's no way he could go to the scene to be the killer. Um, you've got a point. Let me save. I feel like I could see a choice coming up soon. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true. No said he saw Max, didn't he? Did he just throw something? Oh, wait! Wait, what? what? Mm. Does, that, does that make sense? Could he have used the bus to kill the ringmaster? Like, he dropped the bus on the ringmaster's head. But then how did he dress it up and pull it back up? You know what I mean? I guess he might have... Well, yeah, he probably tied a rope to the bus, dropped it on the ringmaster's head, then pulled the bus up afterwards. I think that makes the most sense. Because, yeah, if it already had, like, the cape and stuff on it, then that should uh, make sense. I don't know why the hat would still be there, but... Eh. But Maya, it's still impossible for humans to fly. Do you mind if I ask you a question, Mr. Wright? What is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Um, how did he do it? The birds. <laughs> I do like the birds, though. <laughs> That's the next course of this legal buffet. Be careful, Nick. If you mess up here, She's right, I can't mess up here. I've got to give this one some serious thought. I'm sure that Acro killed the ringmaster. And he did it while he was still in his room, no doubt about it. Time to enlighten us as to how Mr. Dingling committed the crime. Hmm. I feel like I do kind of know what it is, but I don't know that I can uh, prove it right now. So I feel like taken from the cafeteria before the crime. So I do think it's the bust, but I don't know if like, I don't know if it wants me to present that right now, you know what I mean? I feel like he's gonna be like, oh, why are you showing me a bust? Oh, that's lame, I don't know what that means. Let's see if I can buy some time. I think we'll finally be graced with an explanation. Don't push it, Von Karma. What, what? You are gonna suck me in this time. I'm smart enough to know when I don't have the cards to play, and my hand sucks right now. You're not making it sound good, Phoenix. Um, uh, what do you mean, Mr. Wright? <laughs> he looks so cool for a second. He means that everything he said up till now has been nonsense. Um, it's true, right? If you can't establish proof of your murder theory, then it's nonsense. Uh, he's trying to fool us by playing some Mr. God dang it. Okay, let me load it again. I just didn't know if I had the right- I just thought maybe I could buy myself some more time. Okay? Fine, I'll present the evidence. Screw you guys. I'm gonna present some evidence. So, what did Mr. Dingling use to commit the crime of murder against Russell Berry? I think it was this stupid bronze thing. Take that! Take that! Hey! What's that, a picture? Man, I could've done it in the first place. I just feel like sometimes these games are like that, though. They're like, why are you showing me a picture of this? And it's like- it's like, I know what it is, but sometimes they just don't want the evidence yet. I wasn't sure. It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust? It's quite a large bust, and because it is life-sized, it's also very, very heavy. Heavy. Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. 
Especially if it was dropped from a third story window. Ah! Ah! See, this is how Acro was able to kill the Ringmaster! With the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactica's ample... Ample bust! <laughs> Did you have to add ample in there? <laughs> order! Order! So, you're saying the bust fell onto the Ringmaster? A rather simple crime. I still want to know what's up with the chest and all that. We haven't really figured that part out. I guess we gotta get his, like, um, motivation and stuff. Even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it would be incredibly easy to commit. Objection! Objection! How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair? With something so heavy, it's impossible! Objection! Objection! He had the monkey! Well, Acro is an acrobat. That too. <laughs> he should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like that bus. Mr. Dingaling, how do you respond to these charges? Well... Akira's at a loss for words! He should be! He knows that I'm getting close to the truth! Well, 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 Akira, you can't run- OH GOD! <laughs> what is that, 101? I wa- I'll watch what I- I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix, right? What? Your Honor, the physical health of the witness is- is- the, of the witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. And yeah, just so again, lie? Sure, why not? Why not, girly? Um, testimony you say. Was that 100 or 101? Von Karma. She's just using this testimony as a ruse to stall for time. Oh, it is 100! Yay! We did it! I was scared I, I missed it for a second. I was like... I can't remember because it's like I thought the last one I saw was like 98 or 99. She's using this testimony as a ruse to stall for time. Objection! That's my thing! There's absolutely no need for such testimony. Objection! The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has the right to respond. The defense's objection is overruled. God dang it. You just always rule against me. Why can't he see things my way once in a while? Mr. Dingaling, I'm sorry, but we need you to testify about your physical condition. How many whips do you guys think she'll reach? Like 150 or 200? I feel like in that range, honestly. Because I think once she starts losing, she's going to start whipping like crazy, like last time. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. The witness will have no problems. However, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you. Oh, that woman will sink to any low to win a case. And she'll look good while doing it. Akira's physical state. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bust. I have strong upper body strength from working as an acrobat and only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bust and looking out the window? That would have been impossible! There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. How is- okay, you could lift up like a 50 pound bust but you couldn't like go to the window? I don't know, man. Thus, it would be unrealistic realistic for me to drop the bust on him, don't you think? Oh, uh, nah. mm, I have doubts in regards to this witness's testimony. <laughs> but can he pick up a rock? <laughs> Dude, I thought he was about to do the uh, wolf game testimony <laughs> for a second. Oh, I couldn't pick up a rock. That's too difficult. Oh, that would have been so hard. It was impossible for him to lift the bus and stick himself out far enough to look. Okay, like stick himself out of the wheelchair. I mean, wouldn't he have like some butt strength, you know? It's like using your butt to get out. And I understand his legs are messed up, but I guess I don't really know exactly how paralyzed he is or how injured he is. He feels like paralyzed from the waist down. I could see that being difficult, like an issue. But if he's like his legs are broken, then I feel like he could still, you know, use your booty to kind of get up a little bit. Oh, he used the birds! No! He used the birds, actually! <laughs> I'm cooking! I'm cooking! If he was, okay, let's say hypothetically, paralyzed from the waist down, couldn't actually look, he used the birds and he had some signs with them, and she, they told, they told him when to drop the bust. So true. Not to mention that he could have not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A single false step would have led to even more severe injuries. That's what I was thinking. What's your opinion on the matter? I'd still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. Ah, uh, 
I can't let her get to me. I got fo gotta focus. I'm like half joking about the birds. I kind of want that to be the case. Physical state. Let's just start pressing everything. Suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bus. Hold it! <laughs> have you ever lifted up the bus before? No, I've never actually lifted it up with my own two hands. But I should get to it, don't you think? I can't let money outdo me on this. Money? That crazy monkey has lifted Max's bus before. Is it the monkey? I knew he was an accomplice. I was just ahead of the game when I said that earlier. Um, please continue with your testimony, Mr. Dingaling. I have a strong upper body from working out as an acrobat. Only my legs were injured. Yeah, it seems like it's only his legs. So what have you been doing to keep in shape? Well, honestly, I've given up on training. I don't have any plans to return to the trapeze or the tightrope. You don't say. But no offense, I'm not worried about losing to you in a race or anything. <laughs> She's getting ready. Neither am I, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I won't lose either, Slowpoke. I mean, Nick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did the discussion turn to me all of a sudden? I suppose you could say that I'm stronger than the average bear. Okay. However, lifting the bus and looking out the window would have been impossible. Hold it! It does kind of seem like maybe... Maybe it was the monkey? <laughs> we like He like made the monkey drop the bust and stuff, and they don't even arrest him, they just arrest the monkey. <laughs> you thought you could get away with it too, money. And why is that? This game is so goofy, I can see that being the case. Happy ending. Because if I were to do that, I'd end up falling out of the window myself. I still haven't gotten much feeling back in my legs yet. Um, so you couldn't have thrown that bust out the window. There's no way I could have exerted that force on my lower body. Hold it! How long do you think your recovery will take? Um, you have to remember that my nerves were severely damaged. I'm currently undergoing some extremely intensive re rehabilitation, but it's still going to take a while before I'm back to 100%. Let me remind you of another very important point. If the witness was carrying the bust, he would not be able to see out the window. Okay. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. We shall see about that. Why do you say it would be impossible? Allow me to explain. You accept that if I was carrying the bus, I couldn't see below the window. Thus, there is no way I could have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Well, I suppose you've got a point. Hey, Nick! Huh? What if you turn things around? Maybe if you think of it sort of like this. Okay, Maya's about to be cooking. If he knew the ringmaster, the location of the ringmaster's head, then he could drop the bust. Yeah, yeah, somebody told him! That does make sense. If only I could prove somehow. Hmm. The acro knew the location of the ringmaster's head without looking down. They did send the note too. I don't think it's this, but I kind of want to double check. Got an... At the lodging house plaza. Yeah, it doesn't really give like a specific. I was like, maybe if it said like right next to the pole or something. either the birds or the monkey. I think I've explained myself things sufficiently. This would be unrealistic for me to drop the bus on him, don't you think? If all you had to do was drop it, then it wouldn't have been a problem at all. If I had, if all I had to do was drop it, then you're right, I could have done that. However, there's no way that I could land a direct hit on the ringmaster's head. Um, so what kind, so that kind of makes your theory a bit pointless, doesn't it? Shut up! Akira is strong enough to lift up the bus. The main problem is how I could have aimed for the ringmaster's head. I wonder if you use some kind of tool to aim for the ringmaster. That's the ticket, Nick! Show him what you've got! I gotta be careful. I have to find something that fits perfectly with the case. Tool. Photo Max is a word ceremony. Or it's kind of a mirror on this, but I don't know if that would be it. Max is a ward found inside the wooden box. Victim hunched over, victim's hunched over. Time of death. Master. Map of very big farm. Max salary, hat, picture the crime scene. Huh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I was thinking that maybe he was trying to kill Regina instead. I was honestly kind of thinking about that 
already. I think that could be the case, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to know. But be careful. I'll find that fits with the case perfectly. I don't remember us finding inside a tool. Did anybody ever look something? How's it going to lift something the size of that bus? To have strong upper body strength. However, lifting the bus, looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of lower body strength. Impossible for me to have known the location. I think it's this one. I do want to do the monkey though again. Is that so wrong? <laughs> it's gonna be like the meme of this trial. <laughs> Just the monkey. <laughs> it's worth a shot. I do, one day it'll be right. Your honor. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, it does. I don't see anything contradictory, but come on, the monkey, he did it, come on, don't give me that crap, you know it's true, judge, you know it's true. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll stop thinking about the monkey, it's impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster. Picture the crime scene. I'm trying to think, is there like a tool or something? That was kind of the implication, but... Inside the wooden box. Hunch over. Boost small but strong lock. I kind of want to try the bust again too, but I don't know if that's actually true. No. Huh. I'm not really sure. I, it's gotta be this one though, right? Man. <sighs> Dang it. Okay. Possible reading on the location of the ringmaster said. Let me just press it again and reread it. Why do you say it would be impossible? Let me explain. Except that I was the bus, I couldn't see out the window. Thus, there's no way I would know the location of their head. Well, I suppose you got a point. Hey, Nick. What if you turn things around? Maybe you think it's sort of like... If you knew the location of the ringmaster's head, then he could drop the bust. It wouldn't be the map, right? Nah. It's the attorney badge. Fighting performer. Hunched over. A boast of small but strong lock. Found inside the wooden box. I don't know. Lodging. He just keeps throwing it down there until it eventually hits him. <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay, maybe I'll try like one or two more things and y'all can give me a hint. I was doing so good the first half of this trial, but not anymore. That doesn't make sense. If only I could prove it somehow. Back for a new location of the remaster without looking down. I guess that kind of proves it? I don't know. Not It's not like an exact location, but I guess it's close enough. Let me know the location. Let me just try it, I guess. Ah, oh, man. It's not that either. And the location. Is it a profile? Yeah, I guess it might be good to get a hint at this point. Cause I, thought, I really thought that was going to be it. I thought it made the most sense. He was just playing with his heavy yo-yo. <laughs> I do kind of like the idea of him just throwing the bus down over and over again. The box? I was kind of thinking it could be the box, but I don't really know how that, like, um... I don't know. Would help him? Do you have something in the box to, like, track his location? Oh, screw it. Really? <laughs> Acro, you didn't really need to lean out the window, did you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? That was, like, on my list of ideas, but I was like, I don't really have any reason for why the box would be it. Like, how would that help him? Because I thought maybe it was, like, if it was, like, I don't know, reflective or something, there could be some kind of weird, you know, work around with it, but nah, I don't know. You already knew ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. Quite precisely, I may add. Okay. You silly, you're silly hinting at things. It's pointless, Mr. Phoenix, right? Enough stalling. How about you show us some evidence? 
but but I did such a good job hinting. Yes, yes, hurry up and explain things, miss. I don't even understand. Did he tell him to put his head on the box? Did he even say to bring the box in here? Forgotten, I have conclusive evidence to place. Meet me tonight, lodging house. Maybe you should take a look at this. He was on top of it. The key point here is the wooden box. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over. The same. The question is, who placed the wooden box here? Ooh. When Ben and company saw the ringmaster, they didn't see him holding the box. Oh. I just kept assuming that, yeah, he brought it there. Okay, that makes more sense then. Which means that this wooden box is already placed at the scene of the crime. I have to admit that your theory makes a lot of sense. Okay. There's nothing important in the box in the first place. I guess it was just literally Pepper in there. The moment that the bus came falling down was exactly the same moment that the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. Which means that the answer to all these questions is now crystal clear. You, you mean, if the bus were to fall upon the point marked out by the wooden box, there would be no way that it could miss the head of the victim. No! Order, order, order! This is unbelievable! Finally, some of these loose ends are starting to tie themselves up. Now I just gotta keep going. There's only one way to go from here. Forward. So the next question I have is who placed that wooden box at the scene? Uh, he's gonna totally use the, like, I can't get down from the third floor, it, like, excuse, but I don't know who would it be. I was like, what do you get Regina to do it? She does a lot of chores for him. Oh, he's saying this dingling. It was Mr. Dingling, of course. He connected it to a rope, and then all he had to do was lower it down. <laughs> oh, God! Allow me to whip some sense into you! Oh, God! Mr. F Mr. Phoenix! Oh, God! Oh, my God! How many was that, like, five? The ringmaster's head could have been anywhere when he lifted the box. That's why the box was so specially made. Specially made? Indeed. It had the most peculiar feature. The size of the box, the weight, the contents. Let me save again. I was like, it does mention the weight of the box. It boasts a small but strong lock. Okay, was it the lock? It contains pepper! Weight of the box, size of the box, contents of the box. Maybe new contents. Do you recall what was inside the wooden box? There was only a small bottle of pepper, wasn't there? Get on with it! Well? <laughs> What's the mountain cat? <laughs> it is kind of fun getting it wrong sometimes. <laughs> Just because it can be pretty memey. Cat got your tongue! I don't see any relationship between the location of his head and the box's contents. I think I might have outthought myself. Yo, Nick, you didn't think enough! <laughs> but the pepper, it could make him sneeze! That's why he's sneezing over the box! Do you still maintain the box had some sort of special feature? Indeed, it had the most peculiar feature. Size of the box, the weight of the box. I feel like it was technically the lock that, you know, draws the most attention to, but I guess maybe the weight is probably the next thing. <laughs> Okay, the weight of the box. The box had a remarkable weight. The weight? According to the court record, it weighs 20 pounds. Just to lift up this wooden box would have required. Oh, I see. One would have to squat down and lift it up with her body, wouldn't you say? That's exactly what I was trying to point out. The box is also very large. The box also has carrying hand handles on either side, doesn't it? That is correct! To lift up the box, you'd have to squat down. Which means that no matter who you are, your head would be in the approximately, be in approximately the same place. Fool! <laughs> I like the pepper thing better. <laughs> I want to know what the point of the pepper is. I was just like kind of hoping maybe, maybe we get an explanation for it. Does he even bother to listen to me anymore? I've heard what you've had to say. Ah. Uh. I must admit, I'm, sh I'm shocked at your imaginative skills. You, did you do it? Did you place this wooden box in the plaza? Mr. Wright may have a vivid imagination, but I can never have done what he was proposing. What? 
Mr. Wright, do you recall the original location of Max's bust? Oh yeah, it was in the cafeteria, right? I remember. Of course I remember. It was on top of the table in the cafeteria. Um, then what happened to it? I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I could not possibly leave the lounging by myself. Ah, that means that Regina would have gotten it or something? You understand what I mean, don't you? I may very well have been able to drop the bust from my room. However, how would I have gotten the bust from the cafeteria to my room? Monkey, 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 say it with me! Monkey, monkey I wish. <laughs> you see, Mr. Phoenix Wright, explain that! Don't forget you said there was no accomplice! Is it time? Is it time? Is it fucking time? I feel like it might be. Arg! <laughs> Tell us exactly how the witness would have carried the bus from the cafeteria. Yep. We definitely have a problem here. But this is no place to get perplexed. I've got to get my wits about me and prove how things happen once and for all. All right, Mr. Wright, let's hear your explanation. Oh, oh, I got it. How did the witness get the bus from the cafeteria? Oh, you know what time it is, baby. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Monkey, 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 monkey. Yes! We did it. Oh, I'm so excited. The monkey, everyone knows money. He loves shiny objects of any size. Oh, like when he stole the ventriloquist ring. So are you saying the witness had the monkey steal the bust? Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey stole it on his own and then brought it back home. Ah. Oh yeah, you didn't think I would think of that, huh? Playing checkers and playing chess. A a Acro? Acro. He wanted to call him Astro. Money lives in Acro's room. Acro's room? That's why there's poop all over the floor. But the bus was bronze, wasn't it? The bronze isn't all that shiny. Objection! Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the core record. <laughs> My, those are some very nice cards he's holding. Yeah, and they're made of platinum, which is very shiny. Glah! Acro! Money's a strong monkey, right? It'd be easy for him to bring the bus back to your room. <laughs> What's that Kanade ass smile? Would it? Would it be easy? <laughs> he wasn't able to handle that himself. I'd be on the market for a new roommate. He's so chill still. How is he still so chill? I'm waiting for him to break. Order, order! I said order, Miss Von Karma. Where's the bust in question at this moment? Um, um, um. I um. I don't know. We're searching for it as we speak. Um, this is a rather strange turn of events. But let's say the monkey had not stolen the bus. Why would you say that when he did? What would have happened then? Well, in that event, is there any point of this? Why are we thinking about a non-monkey situation when the monkey is the best part? It's the best part. Something else would have been used as the murder weapon. Huh, wait. I guess the box, maybe? Then you mean this bus was the murder weapon purely by accident? It's possible. Maybe Acro saw Money's mountain of stolen goods and thought to use one of them. Ugh. Anyways, I think we've more than proven one critical fact. Namely, that it was entirely possible that Acro was the murderer. Moron! Oh, not fool? You changing your, changing your cat phrase, girly? Mr. Wright's argument was so circular, I'm still a bit dizzy, however... Its argument does hold water, and there is a monkey in it, so there's no denying that! Oh god! Don't seem so flamboozled, especially by this fraud of an attorney. Fraud? You've forgotten the absolute most important thing, Mr. Phoenix, right? And what is that? You should know! Uh, another one! You forgot your third of a magician client was spotted at the scene of the crime! Oh god! Um, I can explain that, though. There is no reason to doubt the clan's testimony. That's true, how do you respond to that, Mr. Wright? Nick, don't let her beat you now! I won't, this is my chance to turn this trial around. When the murder occurred, there were two people at the scene of the crime. 
One was the victim, Russell Barry, and the other was the murderer himself. And to listen is only Mr. Phoenix, right? If that even is your name. Who was the murderer? The clown saw! I think it was literally the bust. Bronze statue. I think it was him. He saw Max's- Oh god! Ow! I asked who was the other person most saw on the scene. That evidence has nothing to do with the question. Objection! Ah, oh, contraire, mon frere! It does indeed have something to do with the question. Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette. But he did not actually see the man himself. It wasn't a human being he saw. Yeah, I feel like those lines he said at the beginning of the trial when he was like, uh... Oh, it could have been a mannequin or whatever. I feel like that was really hinting at this. How is that possible? It's simple, really. That Mo actually saw that- What Mo actually saw that night was Max's bust. His ample bust. <laughs> what are you talking about? Have you tried using your brain at all in this case? The silhouette he saw was clearly a cloak. Objection! There's no reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to the bust. It would be easy to hang on one hang to hang one off the cards in the bus hands. Idiot, who in the right mind would put the cloak on the bus? It doesn't matter who put it on the bus. Just, just wait a minute now, Mr. Right. Who put the cloak on the bus? I don't know. The monkey? <laughs> That's always gonna be my answer to anything. Haven't you figured this out now, Judge? That question is of the utmost importance to this case, don't you agree? Oh, he caught me. Oh god. So let's have it, Mr. Right. I kind of want to choose the monkey. I know it's not, though. Have a Mr. Roger. You put the cloak on the bust. <laughs> I want it to be you so bad, money. I want it to be you so fucking bad. Okay, who put the cloak on the bust? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking Regina for some reason. Is there like Regina or like Max himself for some reason? <laughs> okay, so money got... Okay, money got the... He got the... He got the bust. And then maybe, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's Regina for some reason. That's what my gut's telling me. But we shall see. I feel like Acro is gonna be like, oh, I couldn't have done it. Blah blah blah. Fuck it. Let's do Regina. She's kind of stupid, you know. I feel like you could get her to do it. Take that. Take that! Um, I wonder, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Didn't the defendant wear his cloak the entire time he was at practice? Uh. So then how did this person get a hold of the cloak? Uh, well, you see here. Furthermore, how would this person have gotten the cloak onto the bust, I wonder? Because this person was not spotted at the scene. I'm sorry? Oh god. <clears throat> Okay, I see a lot of people in chat saying this is apparently really hard. Or it's like, not really hard, I guess, but just really weird logic. Let's have it! Cloak on the bust! This part was why Jay stopped, really? Damn. Oh my god. That's pretty rough. Okay, my other idea is Russell. Maybe? Why not? Fuck it. He had the cloak last, didn't he? Fool! Him?! You are saying it was the victim himself, Russell Berry?! That's what I'm saying. He, I mean the victim himself. Place the cloak on the bus. Because he had the cloak last? Place the cloak isn't really the right way of putting it. It's sad that he stopped after this when the next child is supposed to be really good. The spark broke Nico. I gotta rewatch Nico's playthrough of this. I'm really curious to know what he thought of this. Place the cloak really isn't the right way of putting it. Then what would be the right way of putting it, Mr. Wright? EXPLAIN YOURSELF! Nick, do you really have a handle on all of this? I'm fine, Maya. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. There's really only one picture I can paint anyways. Alright, so you want to know what really happened that night? Let's step back in time. Okay. Acro used a rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. <laughs> I'll be so happy when, uh, we don't have to hear the song anymore. Then he attached that rope to the bust and dangled the bust out of his bedroom window directly above the wooden box. 
At the same time, the ringmaster told Max to wait in his room and went to the scene. Of course, at that time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. But, th but just as he feared, he was spot at the entrance of the lodging house by none other than a ventriloquist and his puppet, Ben and Trillo. I'm so sad they're not going to prison. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over to lift the wooden box. <clears throat> That's when Acro took his chance and released the rope. Mister, I can't look out a window. He was looking out the window just fine in that picture. Now this is when the magic happens. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be really stupid. <laughs> At the very instant that the bust hit the victim. <laughs> what the fuck? It gained sentience and attached itself to Max. Wait just a second there, Mr. Phoenix, right? As much as you try, as much as you scheme, this just- What the fuck is this? It's still a little early to get, be getting so upset, Miss Von Karma. Magic! Magic! This circus isn't over yet! What? What the fuck? <laughs> it saw and knew its owner, and it just gravitated towards it! The impact of the bus on the victim through the club! <laughs> so fucking stupid! <laughs> this is really stupid! <laughs> The impact of the bus on the victim threw the cloak up, which snagged on. Like, what the fuck? Dude? <laughs> so dumb. It would make more sense for him to just attach a regular cloak to it. A cloak that looks similar to Max's cloak and then lift it up and down. You know what I mean? That impact also caused us the sound a certain witness heard that prompted him to take a look. That witness was, of course, Lawrence Mokurls, the clown. When Mo looked out his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bust. Now, having completed the crime, Acro naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea that Mo saw the bust being raised with the cloak dangling on it. Primarily because in his wheelchair, he couldn't see out of his he We literally saw him looking at us. It's fine, it's fine. So he just kept pulling the bust. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. I was hoping at least the mystery would be good, but here we are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> oh my god, and that is how the magical murderer disappeared into the sky. Came to be! Francesca's like, you've got to be fucking kidding me! <laughs> so you see, the only person you could have pulled this off? I'm not with you now, Phoenix. This is... This is... This is one time I'm not with you. It is the one person he was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Acro! It could have only been you! Are we still gonna be chill? That's the fucking stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Me too, Acro. Acro's been playing mind games with all of us. He sure has. But he has come to the end of his rope now. So... What now? You've graced us with a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Evidence? In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence. How the fuck are we pro Like, how do we prove this? It's so stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna submit the monkey as <laughs> evidence again. The power of evidence and the power of my whip. How is that stupider than some of the theories I came up with? Like the birds? <laughs> like... The monkey? How is that stupid? <laughs> well, is it stupider than the monkey being in the cape and him lifting down the monkey to kill him with the bust? Oh, Jesus, Draga, what is this? That monkey? Monkey, Mitch? <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. All, all going towards my therapy. In this course, only two things matter. Evidence and the power of my whip. Don't forget the power of my gavel. No one cares about that. Miss... Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? You think I have evidence of this? It was the pepper! Oh my god, it like made the wind thicker. It's like, when is the pepper gonna come into play? Nick, they say they want evidence. I just explained how there can only be one possible murder method. But there is still something unusual about 
Mo's eye, but there's still something unusual about Mo's eyewitness account. Unusual? A contradiction, actually. Okay then, use that and get out of this jam. That's enough talking amongst yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Okay, present some evidence to the court that backs. <laughs> How am I supposed to back this up? <laughs> okay. I want hard proof that you have unraveled the trick of this magic case. I don't know what. <laughs> My explanation defies physics. No evidence needed. Deal with it. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Did he sneeze? Is it gonna be something stupid like that? He sneezed when <laughs> hit him on the head. <laughs> and that's- and that's what it is. Whatever, let's just try it. Take that. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What do you guys think? You like it? You like the evidence? <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> if they had been silent for two more seconds, I would have screamed. Nick, they say they want evidence. I just explained how there can only be one possible murder method. I don't even really understand what am I trying to prove here? Like, how the cape flew or just how, like, there was only one possible murder method? There's still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. <laughs> unusual? A contradiction, actually. Okay, then use that to get out of this jam. Okay. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh, God, it does kind of pay to get stuff wrong sometimes. <laughs> Oh my god, hard proof you unraveled the trick of this magic case. I'll try a little bit more, then I might ask for a hint, but we'll see. They did the mute challenge! <laughs> that was it, they're just Beyonce stands. Okay. Uh, unraveled a hard proof, unraveled the trick of this case. I'm honestly trying to think of like what we haven't used yet. I was like, we haven't used this. He's such a great mag magician. That's why the cloak magically went over there. That's what happened. I don't think it's any of these other things, right? Eh, whatever. Screw it, let's try it. Take that! <laughs> you guys doing it again? That's not nice, that's not nice. Y'all are bullying me, y'all are bullying me. <laughs> oh man, at least this is funny. I mean, we haven't used Leon yet either, I guess. Shot by the ringmaster. Oh, oh, like, is this just supposed to be showing his, like, motivation or something? Oh. I guess not. <laughs> Guys, stop it! Stop! Stop it! I don't even understand! I don't even know what you want from me! I don't know what you want from me! None of this makes sense! Okay, unraveled the trick. <laughs> Try the monkey again? <laughs> oh my goodness, everybody's on mute and now on the chat too! Um... I'll try one more, then you guys can help me. <laughs> Everybody on mute. Um, have solid proof you unraveled the trick. Is it like? I was like, that would kind of prove maybe. But it's like talking about a trick. What is this? What does it want from me? Oh my god. The box? Fuck it. Let's do that. I hate you guys! Okay, fine. Y'all can give me a hint. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody on mute again. Guys, this is not a Beyonce concert. Listen to me. Speak to me. Speak back. <laughs> the kitchen is on fire. Ugh. It's burning down as we speak. 
It's an evidence piece you've already used. Monkey? <laughs> oh, the hat? Oh, okay, it actually- okay, it is the hat. The problem is Max has three symbols. You know, the silk hat, the cloak, and the white roses. Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. Yesterday there were two contradictions in Mo's testimony. And the silk hat was one, the white roses were another. But the theory I just pressed was, explains all the, these contradictions. You fool, do you ever shut up? Max's silk hat was found at the scene of the crime. Uh, I should have thought about that, because that was what was included in, um, what's-his-face Moe's, like, um, testimony. I was just kind of confused on what they were even asking me, but yeah, he did mention, like, a contradiction in Moe's testimony or something. However, remember what Moe said yesterday. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat that Moe saw was actually the bus. All coming together. Makes sense. If you look at look at it that way, then he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. Objection! Fun, you've got one. But what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction? Do you remember what that ventriloquist said in court? He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. The clown said that there were no white roses. Looks like you just saw him from behind based off of that shot, but whatever. I'd like to see you try and explain that one away! Can you do it, Nick? I doubt it. <laughs> oh, man. Of course I can explain all of it! What was that? Please recall the incident when the cloak snagged onto the bust. If the cloak snagged onto the bust, what happened to the white roses? They fell off! Or wait, they just got covered? Oh, okay. They just got covered. Do you get it yet? If the cloak got snagged onto the front of the bus, it means the white roses would end up back of the bus. Ah! <laughs> Which explains why Mo didn't see them. <laughs> the white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bus. Francesca's like, please get me out of this stupid ass trial! Order! Order! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Drago, put money on the Mitch statue. God, the golden Mitch statue. How could I forget about that? This is quite the shocking state of affairs. Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me. However, let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. Let's do this, Nick! Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel! <laughs> she never dies. <sighs> well, so much for that theory. Mr. Wright, do you mind? What was it? You took the time to research our circus, didn't you? Well, yes. Is there something making you think that I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Um... Why is that? Motive. This w <sighs> Okay. At least I know where we're going with this. This witness here has an immense debt of gratitude towards the ringmaster. Anyone with a relationship to the, to the circus is well aware of this. Ah! Thus there is absolutely no way someone like this would kill the ringmaster. <laughs> We've been able to put all these edits on the subreddit. Plus one bonus one. Ooh! <laughs> I'll have to check that out afterwards. I'm scared but looking forward to it at the same time. Um, Your Honor, I'd like you to hear Akro's story. Learn about his relationship with the Ringmaster and his life up until now. But what do we do? There's no doubt that Akro deeply respected the Ringmaster. Akro's motive, huh? I think he was trying to kill Regina. It seems that this case isn't over yet. Very well, however, I feel this is a good place to take a break. Oh my gosh. Y'all were lying when y'all said only had two hours left in the case. <laughs> More like four. I will listen to the rest of Mr. Dingaling's testimony after recess. This court will now take a ten minute recess. Oh man. To be continued. Probably got through the bulk of the trial. I feel like the second half is usually a lot shorter for whatever reason. 
Or usually in these cases, that kind of seems to be the case. Turn around, Big Top. It never ends. Never. Never. <laughs> Just gonna be playing this case forever. Oh, man. It was probably, it was actually only two hours. It's probably because there was like no commentary or something. I talk a lot. <laughs> I feel like whenever I look up stuff, it's like I have to double it. If it's like a no commentary playthrough, I'm like, yeah, that's, it's gonna take me like double that time. I can't believe it, Acro. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? <laughs> only 15 hours left. <laughs> Reminds me of, oh God, we're playing that other game. I don't know why it's like, the, the name is escaping me right now. Um, that game I was playing before I did this one, the one where it was like, day 15, give it up for day 15. Ah, uh, why can't I think of it? The one where they're stuck on the island? It's definitely this, it definitely is, and to think he was always the most straightforward of the group. Jeebus, am I that hated? Ahem, uh -huh. Akar tried to pin the murder on you on purpose. He, he did? Psst, psst, cough. But, but, I'm nothing but, uh, I'm nothing but a little old nobody, you know? But you're not, which is kind of the reason why. Hey, hey, pal! You're gonna ignore me after I went all this trouble to bring you some evidence? Yay, Gumshoe! Inescapable. I was like, I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Ah, Detective Gumshoe. I feel like whenever I try to think of something, I completely, like, my mind goes blank. Like, I don't know why. I feel like it happens all the time on stream. Detective Gumshoe. Ah, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. Now, now, Detective, I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? We've got some really tasty milk. Don't drink that. <laughs> this definitely got some poison in it. How about a... Uh, oh, how about a card trick, Detective? Ho, ho, ho. Well, if you insist. Now, about that evidence you mentioned, what is it? Here you go. Oh, yeah, the scarf. Huh, this was yesterday in Acro's room. Yeah, but I've included the forensic results. Take a look at it later. Will Mr. Miss Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? Um, that's why this is all secret. Huh? Look, details are on a need-to-know basis and we're not really allies or anything. But everything that's happened in court up until now has gone according to our plan. I don't know, Miss Von Karma didn't seem in control of things in there just now. I see. <laughs> I see two very opposing views. I've seen someone else streaming Inescapable. He absolutely hates it. I'm kind of morbidly curious about the game because he's so angry at it. I'm kind of curious who's streaming it. I kind of want to see. Then Inescapable is really good. I think you'd like it if you started streaming it again. The only downside, it is really long, and I'm sure you saw. Some of the roots are definitely better than others. Two of the roots are trash, two of them are good, and one is amazing. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it would honestly be a better game to let's play, because I've heard there are some roots that are really good, it's just like super long, and then I feel like it might be kind of like easy to get on a bad route, or like, not, not even like a bad route, but a route that I wouldn't personally want, like I don't really want the reality show <laughs> one, you know what I mean? But yeah, I feel like if I let's played it and I just like cut out a bunch of like the pointless, I guess like pointless, I don't know, I guess like some people wouldn't see it as pointless dialogue, but like, the dialogue that's not as important than like, uh, I might be more enjoyable for people to watch, but uh, that's just a lot of effort for me to put into it when it's like, I can just play other games. <laughs> you figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans are set into motion, because I do think it's like a cool concept and stuff. It's just a lot of filler in my opinion. Final plans. Uh-huh, that reminds me. I've got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing has ever truly decided until the very end. That's it. That's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. What do you mean by that? The very end part. I'm not sure. It was all pretty cryptic to me. Oh, one more thing. Ah, don't scare me like that. Looks like there is a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What's for me? It's milk. What the fuck? <laughs> so much milk. The reception area looks like some kind of dairy. So hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. Yay, more cyanide milk. An entire Terry's worth of milk for me? <laughs> Was he just like really into milk or something? I can't remember that. District Court, courtroom number two. Peanut! You crying, little guy? Oh my goodness, you wanna come here? Oh my goodness! 
Come say hi. Everybody wants to see you. Everybody wants to see you, Peanut. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, you guys, Umis? Come here. Come here, Peanut. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can try to just like show y'all him. Oh my goodness. Ignore my <laughs> blow up mattress in the background. It has a hole in it. I don't know if I should throw it away or keep it. So I've just been kind of leaving it back there for a while. What are you doing? Are you looking at it? Oh my goodness, I got a little toy for you. I brought his toy over here because I was kind of wondering if he would play on stream. Peanut, whoa, you see it? No, <laughs> you don't care. Who doesn't care? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who doesn't care about the toy? Well, I'm here, Peanut, if you want pets. Okay, court room number two. What's up? Oh, you Hang on with me. Hang on with me, little guy. Court is now back in session. Miss Von Gama, please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Akro's testimony, starting with his, with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Akro would have to commit the crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dingaling, all <laughs> the little peanuts in chat. Oh my goodness. He's just a little guy. He's so cute. I love him so much. I should post more pictures of Peanut. Maybe I'll post them on like Twitter or something later. He's just so cute. I love him. Yes, yes, your honor. Please proceed with your testimony. He gets sad when I scream for a long time, too. He's like, why isn't mommy giving me attention and why is she so loud? Finally, we get the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Um, gulp. Witness testimony. We're still going. Still going. <laughs> Love this case. We were a little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat around age nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Oh, oh it's so sad. Um, you're such a thoughtful young man. He is really good at getting sympathy. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Akro would kill the man he held in such esteem. You're absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is there? Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer this question. Of course I'm gonna freaking cross-examine. What do you think? The defense has a right to cross-examine the witness. Humph, you're so tactless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You don't care about justice, do you? You just want to fabricate a motive. Very well, Mr. Wright. Cross-examine the witness. About the ringmaster. Okay, time to blue badger. It's what I do best. I wonder if somebody has like a cat or like a dog they've named blue badger. That'd be kind of cute. <laughs> We're abandoned by our parents. We? Yeah, the brother. Yeah, you haven't brought him up yet because it's a motive. Yeah, my brother. Yeah, my brother Sean and I. I, I still think yeah, he was probably trying to kill Regina though. What? You have a brother? How old were you when this happened, Akro? I was eight years old and my brother was four. Um, your parents were very cruel, weren't they? Nowadays, we are, aren't bitter about what happened to us because it allowed us to meet the wonderful people at the Berry Big Circus. Uh, Nick, the judge is getting misty. Oh God, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> He's got a soft spot for sob stories, it looks like. And Oh God, sniffle, sniffle, no crying in the courtroom. Let's keep going. I thought you'd like that, girl. He's on your side. The witness may proceed with his testimony. That's when the ringmaster, Barry Big, took us into his Barry Big Circus. How would you describe your relationship with the ringmaster? He was like an uncle, a father, and a big brother, all rolled up into one. The ringmaster and my brother were the only family I had. Um, what about other people at the circus? This was over 15 years ago. Back then, there were very few customers coming in. So no one really had the time to look after us. They were worried about other things. But the ringmaster, he would come to see us laugh and smile. What a beautiful story. I'm crying. <laughs> Literally screaming, crying, and throwing up right now. You don't look like you are. That's why I was always thinking of what I could do to help. I want to thank him. Nick, isn't Akira such a wonder- Shut up. <laughs> no, he sucks. Which one makes this so difficult? Um, so then, how long have you been a performer? He doesn't suck. He's better than some of the others, but he's still not great. Became an acrobat about nine years ago. Hold it! You start off as an acrobat at the early 
at that early of an age. I begged Remaster until he finally agreed to let me do it. Ever since then, I've been in incredible physical shape. That's also when I decided to form a group. We called ourselves the... <laughs> what? No! <laughs> The flying dingleberries? <laughs> oh my goodness! What a beautiful name! The flying dingling berries! <laughs> I've even heard of them in Germany, liar. The point is, I, why would you call, call yourselves the dingleberries? <laughs> what if you have some use to the circus? <laughs> you are truly a remarkable young man! <laughs> The judge keeps looking at Akira like a proud father. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, that was a good one. If I would have pined a waiter repay the master, that was my sole purpose in life. <laughs> Hold it! Did you ever have any trouble with the ringmaster? Oh god, it's just natural selection for picking that name. So true. How could you ask such a thing, Mr. Phoenix Knight? I feel like it should be embarrassing that everybody knew that name, you know? <laughs> Do you have some sort of fundamental understanding of this witness's testimony? Or the heartfelt emotions contained within? You better think about this, Mr. Phoenix Knight. You better think hard. Oh god! Oh my god! Two, man. Almost three in a row. Um, no matter how you look at it, uh, there's no way I could see this witness ever taking the victim's life. Exactly. I've been waiting for you to say that, Your Honor. <laughs> Nick, I hate to say it, but I agree with the girl. Come, what side are you on? I was trying to chase down the truth, but I ended up just looking like a jerk. Oh, seriously? Uh, that will be enough for now. We're ruling in his favor because he's so dreamy. Bond pondering whether or not this man would kill the ringmaster lends me to believe that it is pretty unlikely. Because he seems so nice and he's got such a sad backstory. Exactly right, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. Oh, God. Would you just like to... I would just like to know... Do you think us? Do you think Acro's dreamy? Can you provide an explanation as to why Acro would want to want the ringmaster dead? Uh, 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 I'm sure. Now that I've come this far, there is no way I could answer. No, I can't. Oh, this is gonna be good. Farewell, then. Please enlighten the court. Let's see some evidence that proves Acro's motive for killing the ringmaster. Okay. Lion, maybe. Either that, or... I on the head six months ago by Leon, still in a coma. I think it's either Leon or the, uh... Or Bat that I'm supposed to show. Right? I feel like Leon's a little bit more persuasive though, right? Let's do that. Take that! Um, let me just go over this one more time. This is why Acro killed the Ringmaster? That is correct. I don't think the defense would mind confirming something for me. What exactly are we supposed to learn from this piece of evidence? What are you supposed to learn? Um, it looks like you just won the award, of, award for the biggest failure in court. Ouch, biggest failure? That stings. In recognition of your honor, let me dispose... Oh wait, oh, I was gonna say, bestow upon you a special prize. Okay, <laughs> just the punishment. Okay, fine, whatever. I am not doing that good at this half of the trial, man. Okay, I'd like to know, can you provide explanation? Oh, oh, is that one? Did I save again, actually? Of course I can. Let me save just a second. Oh, shoot. I might have done that. Okay. Line the court. Let's see some evidence prove Akira's motive for killing the ringmaster. <laughs> the monkey? <laughs> the lion? I'll try that. Nope. Okay. Okay. So evidence approves Acro's murder, killing the ringmaster. Oh! Wait, the scarf? Bad scarf. I kind of forgot that we had this. That might be this one. Stain with his blood and a small quantity of pepper. 
Oh, did she put pepper on the scarf? Is that why he bit down? Oh, like he was sneezing? Take that. Take that. Oh, really? What? Oh my god. <laughs> really? Am I just stupid? Was I born stupid? Unless it's not supposed to be? <laughs> Is it not? <sighs> Is it... wait... Is it because he hates Regina? Oh my god! Okay, I might need a... I might need a hint or something. I already did the profile of Bat. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm cool with a hint at this point. I already did Leon. Oh, you don't have a motive. <laughs> I figured that might be the case. I figured that might be the case. I was thinking about doing that. Okay, let me go back then. Did I... What did I save last, actually? Oh, God. Oh, no. I might have saved over that one. I might just have to lose some points. We'll see. Yeah, I think I saved over that one. Okay, fuck it, let's just present the badge. <laughs> that is correct. Man, I thought for sure I would show something. Okay, screw you, Judge. Okay, present something else, give up on presenting. Nick! Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all. Ow! Your foolish attempts to fool us, like foolish fools, is so foolhardly foolish. Did you forget you made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Barry Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. Okay. I was thinking we would present the evidence and then work around to get to the Regina part, but you know. <laughs> what did you say? I'm saying that the target of this witness's murder plot was not the ringmaster, because yeah, I was like, I definitely thought it was Regina for a while, since he gave the note to Regina. I think she was just too stupid to understand that it was directed towards her. She was like, I haven't killed anybody, what is, why, what does this mean? Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? And yeah, I guess he wouldn't have seen uh, what happened in the cafeteria with like uh, the ringmaster getting the note um, from the bulletin board since he never leaves his room. Order, order! Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's loud in the face twice if you must. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Be careful with saves. There's a point in the case where if you save, you're stuck in a situation where you can't get out of... A situation you can't get out of without loading another save. So just do multiple saves in case. Ooh. Good call. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the info. Oh god! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do in this court? Yeah, I kind of tend to just save over the same one over and over again when I'm in court. Are you attempting to imply that Acro is trying to kill someone else? Yep. The little girly. Take that! Take that! Be -de 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 -de. Regina Berry? Let me just go ahead and save again. <laughs> I wanted to save! Since I was reading that comment, and then I... I didn't get to. This young girl is the Ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro, you were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Ooh, now he's starting to look pissed. No more Kanade smile, huh? You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited leading question. Objection! Objection! Oh my goodness, Peanut guys, who He could easily answer this question. 
Wait, let me see. Peanut, get your little toy out. Whoa! Wow! Oh my goodness. You wanna do it on stream, Peanut? You wanna play on stream? Okay. I'll leave it there for you. You can hang out, I'll just hold on to it. <laughs> this can easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all I have to do is say, you're wrong, that's it. That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough, Mr. Wright, allow me to. Oh God, the only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence now! I want to know why Akira would want to kill Regina Berry! Okay, now the scarf, I think? Right? Yes, me too! I demand to see some proof! Oh my goodness. Present evidence that proves Akira was out to kill this young girl! Because she gave him the scarf. And it does have pepper on it. But I could also see it being the uh, lion or the profile too. I'm gonna scarf there first. Take that! All right, Mr. Wright. At this point, the only thing that's important is evidence. This better not be a bluff. You're not going to... Oh, God! You're going to fool... You're not going to fool me, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Those two are finishing each other's sentences now. Ugh, okay, whatever. I'll do the profile, I guess. Demand to see some proof! Prevent evidence! Okay, let's do the profile. Take that! Take that! All right, what? What? Oh my god, what is wrong? I don't understand this case, dude. What? <laughs> yes, me too, I demand to see some proof. Some evidence that proves Acro was out to kill the- Oh, wait, 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 the note. Take that! I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I think sometimes I get really hung up on like presenting new evidence too. That like, uh, I kind of forget about the, uh, what Whoa, you got it, Peanut. You're such a strong boy. I kind of forget like uh, some of the old evidence. Akro, you remember this, don't you? That's it's a piece of paper that we found inside the ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? Akra wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. Oh my god. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Akra did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. Regina's! However, that do someone was not the ringmaster. You mean, it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Berry! Oh my god! Order, 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 Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours. It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. <laughs> she didn't really get it. Which is why the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's when her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note. That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in that plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake instead of Regina. That's... That's incredible! Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today. Lifting the bus and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. Akira had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza, because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it, I've got it! Akira thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he lit the bust fly. Ample bust, <laughs> I might add. Hey, Nick! Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? Yeah, I was wondering that too. I was like, is this what Mel wanted her to see? She is. Unfortunately, it's going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Akro wrote this note to Regina. 
Objection! Foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish fool ideals of foolish tomfoolery or so foolish. You've even made me sound like a foolhardly fool. Very well, Mr. Phoenix, right? If you're so sure, then let's tell us, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Ah, uh, yeah, the scarf. Yeah, what about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Berry, it would mean that this note is declaring that Regina is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant. This is why he went to the plaza, in place of his lovely daughter. Okay. Try to give him redemption now after he's like, <laughs> let her be surrounded by like groomers and pervs. Uh, it's too little too late, man. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? The incident six months ago. I know all about it. An incident occurred six months ago. And now I am more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Let me save again, just in case. I'm kind of paranoid now. Moron! Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, your honor. Everything in this case has its start with what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. <laughs> Well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know, I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer this question, the judge is gonna think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about the incident is actually... Oh, the conclusive evidence? <laughs> My pet wasn't the judge saying that. I feel pretty positive it's this, but I haven't really been doing that good, so... Let's try it. Are you serious? What, this is it? Well... How is that not the conclusive evidence? Kind of figured I'd try to get rid of evidence I didn't need anymore. Are you serious? That's not it? That's literally... I thought that was exactly what he meant. That it has a... It didn't... <sighs> Am I stupid? Am I... Was I born stupid? What? It does indeed. What? Six months ago. Really? I think so. That's the case. What is this conclusive? Well, how is that not conclusive evidence? <laughs> how is that not conclusive evidence? <laughs> that is literally the evidence he had! <laughs> oh my god. I haven't forgotten what happened, have you? Have. Oh! Wait a second. Okay, wait. I feel like this might be like a roundabout thing. It was the pepper, because the pepper was on the scarf. Okay, is that what it is? I swear to God, I swear to God. Okay. I think that might be it, because you put the pepper on the thing for the guy to sneeze and stuff. I don't know why he wouldn't put the scarf in there, but whatever. Try this, take that! Okay, okay. <laughs> achoo, 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 achoo! Uh, some strong, oh yeah! What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix, right? This isn't a joke at all. It's the size of evidence you asked for. What do you mean? Okay, that makes more sense, I guess, why it was in the box in the first place. Because I was wondering that. Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away from him. He was doing this, he was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina killed someone with a salt bottle of pepper? Oh my goodness. Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Objection. Foolish fool who never tires of his own foolish ways. If you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question. Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? She just wanted him to become a star in the sky. Who is this? That's Acro's younger brother. I'm gonna keep saving, because we're getting a lot of questions. Come in, Regina W! <laughs> Objection! What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. 
Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Akro would feel that his brother is dead. Regina did that to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming up? No ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Akro's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A, a lion? Regina, I mean Miss Regina Berry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. Um, so then what happened to Akra's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Or was it? No, we do. No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? It was just an accident. It was more than that. She slayed him as she should, queen. We love her, Stan. I stan, Regina. The lion biting Bat was no accident at all. What? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix, right? There's no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being, but she... I guess she could have just put Pepper on the <laughs> scarf because she's just silly like that. But Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Akro's brother, Bat. That's, that's just a scarf. I got it for, I thought for a second it wasn't gonna, it was right. Acro, Acro. <laughs> the scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who was the one that gave the scarf to Bat? R Regina, Regina gave it to him. Regina, there's something more than just blood on the scarf, your honor. And what might that be? Pepper. Pepper! Pepper! Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the accident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Yeah, I wanted to hear why she did that. Is she just trying to slay them? Which, like, I support. I'm like, with you, girly, slay, queen, pop off. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Look around, everybody's on mute. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of- <laughs> Why would you say it like that? What? <laughs> Why would you say it that way? Of um, <laughs> Fingering a criminal? But out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um... Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to bed as a present. Where's the crime in that? It still seems like the judge doesn't get it. Hmm. Mr. Phoenix Wright, wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling. The right before Bath was bit by the lion. Girl, you're kind of helping me out here. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like it was smiling. Lion's smile? Now I feel bad for the lion. He just had a sneeze. He didn't mean to do that. I've never heard of them smiling, however. Lions sneeze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Leon wasn't trying to bite bad at all. Jesus. Ah, uh, poor little Leon then. And uh, in reality, mm, he just sneezed. He sneezed because of the pepper on the scarf. What? You fool! Um, you've got to be kidding me. Objection! Objection! What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I, I object for objection's sake. <laughs> Overruled. Mr. Phoenix, right? You, the theory. You believe it? I mean, I feel like the cape one was, you know, kind of farther, more far-fetched. But you know, it's whatever. It's whatever, who cares? You really intend to say that this is how the how this is how this joke of an accident actually happened. Of course I do, it's the truth. 
The lion sneezed through the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Yeah, I feel really bad for the lion. It was like he just sneezed. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. Man, why'd she have to get the lion killed? Man, that's actually making me not want to stand her. Because the lion didn't do anything wrong, and I feel like she knew that, uh, you know, he was probably gonna get killed. I thought she was, like, friends with them. You foolish idiot! Huh. <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? But once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? <laughs> Acro, you don't mean. You can't mean the witness. Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. Oh my god, dude, how much more do I have to do? What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there is an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? Same problem it's always been. <laughs> evidence. You never have evidence, and you just kind of keep trying to present that monkey. Stop trying to make the monkey work, Weeby. It's not gonna work. If I drop Max Bust on top of the Ringmaster, where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh, <laughs> I like the little bird. Um, you made the conclusive evidence. And the biggest problem is the murder weapon. Or lack thereof, to be more precise. I swear to God, if we have to do another investigation, I'm gonna cry. The murder weapon? The bus that the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. Oh my god. The bust. Nick, you've got to do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. Okay. See how things work out? Request to search Acro's room? Okay, is this that part they were talking about? I feel like it's safer to explore his room, you know? But... We'll do his room? I guess? The defense requests to search the room of Witness Ken Dingling! Hum. What is it now? It looks like you still haven't figured things out, have you? By now you must know the meaning of Von Karma. T total justice. You mean... Did you at that time? Avant Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. What did you find? Uh, crazy! We found nothing! It's crazy that it benefits us so much. That's wild. There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. But to put, but to put a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still accounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bus wasn't in my room. We're getting close to a really iconic joke answer. If you want to save and try it when we do. Oh yeah, sure, let me know when it pops up. I'll probably get it anyways. <laughs> Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. Okay, I'm, Gumshoe is like under her thumb though. And we took Akro directly to the prosecutor's office. <laughs> End of story. Just wait a second, something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you lack the final nail to put into my coffin. I feel like he's kind of admitting to it, honestly. But what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that's relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Oh my god! Do something, Nick! Don't let this case slip away! The bust, where is it now? Where's the bust right now? You're Phoenix right. You know where that bust is. I'm sure you do. In the box? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna keep saving. There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bus is?
It seems this case is coming to a close. Let's eh, save again. <laughs> The defense's counter arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Okay. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Oh, so sorry you failed. You couldn't convict me of murder. That's crazy. That's so crazy. That's so wild. I think that brings an end to the cross examination of this witness. Hold it! Who? Oh, Maya? Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its... Pre to present its lace. I mean, case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. I just spit my tongue. Yep. Uh, what? We need to do what? Oh, God! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Are, are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey, wait. You can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives in the lines, don't they? That's how Acro has lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across her very own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. I'm gonna save again. Very well, the defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic. There's no room for false a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. The murder weapon. What is Max's butt's. <laughs> I didn't mean to say. What is Max's butt now? Bust! Somewhere in the lodging house, somewhere in the big top, somewhere in. <laughs> no one this stupid ass. No one this game, dude. It's probably in this courtroom, isn't it? It totally is, isn't it? Daniel! Is this the one where y'all want me to get it wrong, though? Which one I save? I saved over nine. Oh, that might be the funny answer, actually. Let's try it. It's obvious the bust is inside this very courtroom! It's obviously- WHERE?! Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for <laughs> I gotta I gotta do this <laughs> Okay um this is another one <laughs> Where on earth is this man's butt? <laughs> okay uh, it's the next one Okay I might wait for y'all, what's the funny one? Pick under the judge, pick under the judge. Okay, the judge is bent. Okay. It's, um, um. What? Why did you, why did you stop talking all of a sudden? Well, I'm just not really sure if I should say anything or not because, oh god! Under the judge's bench! You had to think about whether it was a good idea to say that? Ah, what did you just say to me? That's a penalty! Oh god! <laughs> ah, silly. What's that? You want a double? <laughs> oh my god! Double her! <laughs> Jesus! That's enough! This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial! Nor is there any need for time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extreme declared. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. Mr. B find the defendant, Mr. Billy Bob Johns. No! The accused will send to the court immediately. I just can't to see. We have a pending trial. That is all. The court is adjourned. No, not Max. I'm like, I don't really mind seeing Max get sent to prison. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, man. I was hoping I could see him cry. I want to see him cry. I want to see him beg. <laughs> I want to see him get thrown in jail. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. <laughs> I honestly don't know where it's at. Uh, I feel like this is literally just a guess. I guess I might try the witness stand. Why not? It's obvious! Very core cool room! Why not? Let's try it. The witness stand! Acro. 
I'm sorry to ask you this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Is it for real? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy. And you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Oh wait, uh, please pick Franzi, it's also funny. Um, maybe I can do it after, uh, the next one. I didn't realize hers was gonna be funny. Is everybody like uh, hers, too? I mean, I guess I can rewind, honestly. That's not that big of a deal. It does seem like this is right, so. Okay, I'll pick Fran. It's obviously where? Pinpoint the location of the bust. Okay, let me just save here so I don't have to do this again. 10. Two prosecutors. Some. What? Why did you stop talking all of a sudden? Well, I'm not really sure. Oh god, prosecutor's bench! No, you don't mean that Miss Von Karma! Oh! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ! Don't you think it again! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! Nick, get up, Nick! Proceed, Your Honor. I will when Mr. Wright opens his eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Nick, you died. <laughs> You're in heaven now. <laughs> Just like greeted by uh by her sister. You're in heaven now, Nick, aren't you? <laughs> you died from getting whipped. Nick, are you okay? Who is this girl? This is no time for me to be losing my memory. <laughs> okay, let's look. <laughs> Well, it's probably it, right? Walk in the Tower of Logic, there's no room for a soft step. Okay, yeah. I think that's it. How did y'all keep track of that? That was so tough. Okay, win a stand. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. I would not think this normally. I'm just kind of choosing it because I'm like, this is a ace attorney thing to do. Ha. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your light-heartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. <sighs> we all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenience. Inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. Ah, uh, this is like literally the only place you could hide it. If he had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. I guess, yeah, I was like, he could put it in the room after they search it, but I guess he didn't have time because he went to the prosecution right afterwards. Okay. Under your wheelchair. Uh, which is why, Acker, I have to ask you again. Could you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterly, masterfully played. <laughs> Wait, was that another whip? <laughs> you, you fool! How could you? We were so close! I would have covered for you if you just left it in the room! You got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? <laughs> There's just one thing I'd like to know. I'm like She's like, I literally would perform perjury to save you just to make sure I win this trial. There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know how to launch the surprise search on my room last night? Hmm. There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know? 
But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all- <laughs> It's like- Man, Miss Von Karma, it's basically you who gave this- this win to Phoenix. That's so nice of you. You guys must be really good friends, huh? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Um, all that- it all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Uh huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's like, I know I sure couldn't. She's so pissed. I can't believe it. Me make a mistake? Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. <laughs> a little bell. She doesn't care about justice. It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Acro. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of Barry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Barry? Yeah, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. Oh, man. But the birds, what are they gonna do? All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. <laughs> That's why you tease her. One day my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. Okay, well, so is it just like an accident that the whole lion situation happened? That's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I knew she didn't mean for anything bad. Then why did you try to murder her? I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen, I know this. She just wanted to make my brother- What? Why are you trying to murder her? Make her my brother sneeze a few times, but then I was like, I should kill that bitch. <laughs> but, I just couldn't forgive her no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. What the hell is wrong with you? Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely. And she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it. No matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. Couldn't you just like, tell her? Yo, she's not- <laughs> He's not gonna be a star in the sky! How eventful. You didn't have to go to killing her! So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? What? <laughs> Don't even. No, that's not what I mean. Don't even try that, bro. Oh. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first I thought I'd kill my... And I pondered giving, up my, giving myself up, but I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry! I just, I just couldn't up and leave yet. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with everybody in this circus, dude? <laughs> yeah, it's like exactly blame her dad for like not teaching her properly about death or like the world in general. Like, I could see, like, I can understand, like, kind of like popping off on her and getting mad. Like, yo, he's not gonna become a star in the sky, he's gonna be dead. But like, uh,. Jumping straight to killing like and like the fact that his brother too is old like he was 22 as well So he was also in the groomer boat like oh my god. This has been such a weird fucking case It's almost a reflection of the cir- it's been a circus indeed I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. Oh My god I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion thus I'd like to declare my verdict Oh, thank god. Yes! <laughs> we did it! Ah, oh, fuck you, Max. I still hate you. <laughs> I still hate you. Oh my god. This court has adjourned. Lord have mercy. Oh, I'm so happy. It's almost... December 30th. The worst part is saving you. Fabulous! But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. Not a single one of them was a bad... 
let's be so for real right now, Maya. Let's be, okay, you're young. I'm not gonna blame you, but let's be so for real right now. <laughs> Literally everybody besides Regina sucks. That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only at max a million of them. Thank you. Um, what's with the vibe in this room? Oh, we're just thinking about Afro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? Ah, uh, oh, poor Regina, dude. I guess, you know, she has to learn how the world works eventually, but still. <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. <laughs> it's all my fault. Poor Regina. Oh, now I feel bad that she had to watch this trial. It's like, ugh. Uh, oh my god. I don't know, man. Yeah, Mo's okay, too. I don't know if it was really a good idea to stick her in this trial, though. Like, I feel like slowly but surely teaching her the way of the world's not, like, throwing her into the deep end. Bad and Acro, they're never coming back! No, now everyone's gonna split up! Regina! Mr. Wright, tell me something! What do you want to know, Regina? Acro said something right at the end. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Acro... Is he gonna try to get his revenge on me? Uh, of course he is. I don't think so. I think he's finally decided not to, right? Right, I think he was just gonna... I thought he was just saying that to say he wants to, like, live on for his brother. I don't think so. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? Are you really sure? I can't believe that! Yeah, Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. That's true, then I want to see some evidence. Huh? I want to know you're not just making that stuff up about Acro not wanting revenge! Uh-oh. Um... Making up that stuff. Yeah, if you pick wrong for either choice, she starts bawling you, and so of course I picked wrong on purpose. <laughs> you choose bat, is that it? Okay. I was like, I feel like it might be it, but I wasn't totally sure. Take that! Take that! A badge? <laughs> I must know it was the badge, damn it. I messed up. Akira didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Bat! That's right, Regina, he's still alive, you know. I, I never knew. But now that Akro's been caught... Uh-huh. I know! What? I'll do it! I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes! Until he opens his eyes! And then until he can meet Akro again! That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Akro. I'm sorry, Bat! Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. I feel so bad, girl. Don't blame yourself. You've been sheltered, groomed... Ugh, oh, god. That's rough. Just get to safety. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? Fuck off. Ugh, couldn't say it better myself. We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? N don't apologize to him. I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'd pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? Uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Huh? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. Yay! The Grouper Circus gets to keep going! So great. So... What is it? Yeah, Regina, go live with Uncle Mo, please. <laughs> please! Don't blame yourself for any of this, and then just go play... Just go... Go live with Mo, far, far away from everybody. I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn this circus into the best circus this world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen. Don't laugh. That's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus in the world has ever 
ever seen needs the world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Yay, so excited. The circus gets to keep going. <laughs> Watch it like a sequel. <laughs> the big top turnabout two. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, um Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be... Girl, go, go... I feel like you're saying that because you feel bad, but like, you need safety. <laughs> you need parental figures that will protect you. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to the court today? Um, we've gotta work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. Oh. Most right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Barry. Max. Nick. It seems like everything is going to turn out all right. I can't wait to see the best circus the world has ever seen. I can't wait to never talk about this trial ever again. <laughs> we'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, lord. She would be better off without it. But yeah, it's like, it makes me sad that, like, the reason she wanted to leave was because of... Oh, wait. Yesterday's surprise raid. It really paid off, just like you said it would, sir. What the? Um, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. A game theory. If Akbar really was the killer, I thought this was the only way I could it could end. Especially if he was the defense... Oh my god, it's gonna be back. You mean Mr. Right? Oh, here we go, here we go, baby. Of course, while well detective, my plane is about to leave. Here we go. As for Akra's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the chief prosecutor's office. Yes! He's back! Yes! I'll be waiting for- I'll be waiting for you. Mr. Edgeworth, I knew he went to- Oh, he's got a new jacket, too! Oh, yes! Save me, Edgy! Save me! Save me! Oh, my God! Oh, what a good end. What a good ending. Oh, thank God. Yes! He's back! I'm so fucking happy! Farewell, my turnabout. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to see the angst. Oh, God. The right worth of it all. Oh, I'm so happy he's back! I love you. I love you, Edgy. Oh, he saved me. He came when we needed him most. When we needed him most. Oh, he showed up. Oh my god, I love you, Edgeworth. Oh, I've always loved you. I've always stand you. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to play the next case. Man, this is actually pretty long. Gosh, I don't know if it is because I talk so much or because I did bad this trial, but man, four and a half hours to finish this up. I thought last time, you know, I thought, man, we were only gonna have like two hours and I would be able to start the like next case, but it does seem like uh, we'll be starting the next case next week. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so happy we're done with this case too. Oh man, I feel like, you know, I still, in, uh, I don't know. I think I still had fun with it, like streaming it just cause like I always have fun streaming and hanging out with you guys. But yeah, the love triangle thing was just so uncomfortable. And then yet the mystery aspects were also Debatable, questionable, <laughs> like the cape thing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely a case. It was definitely an Ace Attorney case. I am curious to watch the anime, though. I don't know if I should, like, record my reaction to it. I don't even know if that'd be possible, since, like, anime copyright can be really hardcore. But I do want to watch the anime, because I'm curious to see how they did that. And I'm hoping that I can just basically refer to that version of the trial whenever I have to think about it again. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm just going to pretend this trial never happened. <laughs> it is leaving, it went through one ear, and now it's going out the other ear, and I will um, <laughs> refuse to comment on it ever again. Good times, good times. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Um, oh, don't worry, only Regina shows up again. Okay, Slay, I love that. I love Regina. She's still, she's still a queen. I love her. But, uh, okay, thanks, guys, for coming to the stream. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a great week. Um, just have another video back up on Tuesday. It'd be nice if I get one on Thursday, but I don't know if I'll be able to get one on Thursday as well. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to continue this case. Excited to be done with this last case. And, um, yeah, just happy, happy it's that. But, yeah, probably gonna eat dinner and head out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!